showtime! <laughs> what up, my brother? What's happening, man? What's up? What's up? Well, you, nigga, I thought you about to try to be a Cobra Kai or something. What's going on? Man, you know, I don't know. I felt the itch. It was just like <laughs> Egyptian style, you girl. Tripping? You know what I'm saying? You set tripping up here? Like, you don't know about this. What's <laughs> tight? <laughs> you don't know about this. Egyptian style, you don't know girl. About it. <laughs> oh boy why come on now oh man i definitely forgot to put this on twitter though <laughs> yeah, like oh no twitter we got to get it on the twitter <laughs> oh boy let's twitter see if that works get let's it popped let's see if that works Oh, okay. We got you on Twitter. All right, we're now on Twitter. All right. Hey, we live. I I, I forget these things. We live. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Waiting on them. Well, oh, I guess while we're waiting on the people. We doing but we... yo, what you been up to, man? I ain't seen you all week. Ooh, man, you know, a lot of shipments, uh, custom orders. You know what I'm saying? Uh, working on trying to... Pirate. Got you a pirate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, working on... Working on... <laughs> Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Who knew they actually existed? I was like, wow, they're real. Oh like, yeah, oh with the God. with the whole uh elimination chamber thing where they they got they got their gear stolen by pirates. I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Yeah, I was like, wow, they're real. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Mainly it just be them Cambodians and and, and and cartels and some of the other nationalities you wouldn't think it'd be, but yeah, I was like, oh you mean wow. white people? <laughs> Basically, yeah, take credit for everything, and yet they do absolutely nothing. They're not pirates. They're not nothing. It's just like, well, I'll give you niggas Vikings. That's about it. <laughs> I don't see no black Vikings. I don't see no Hispanic Vikings. I don't see none of them. So y'all can have that. <laughs> That's um, about man. it. Yeah, man. I'm about to say, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, I've been off since traveling from D.C. I've been... I finally got all my fits for many, many weeks. I found oh, one you? shirt. I found one shirt that I was like, this look like some shit the rock will wear. And I said, I gotta get it. It was like 13 bucks. I said, yeah, I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Oh wear it. my ninja. <laughs> hey, say less. Say I less. I think it's, it's similar to the shirt that you had in Detroit. It's not the, it's not as bright though. Okay, okay. Is it either Detroit or Nashville? One of one at a time. Probably one Detroit, because I wore a lot of uh I'm gonna get some more of them, but I I think I have some I didn't even bring with me to Detroit. I gotta look through and see what I packed up. But yeah, man, like it's gonna be it's gonna be trippy. You know what I'm saying? We won't you know us. I'm kind of actually doing something different. I'm creating some stuff. Uh oh, what's yeah, happening, man? Representing what's back what's days, bro. What's up with what's you? Happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? The what's happening? final boss. Come. In the, the final <laughs> boss. In the Let's yes, go. Yes, yes, hey, I, I got to look tonight. Oh, we all good. Oh, we, we just good. up here we catching good. up right quick before we start the show. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, my, my fault. I'm trying to fix the angle of my room, the camera, and all that. Like I, I sleep in the attic, so you know. I just... Before we start, well, let's make sure yeah, you trying man. to come. Are you trying to come out your computer audio, or are you trying to come out your mic? Because it sounds like you're coming out your computer. Uh, yeah, I got. I got. I got. So yeah, I, yeah, we Take live, baby. Time, hey, we hey, live, baby. We live, baby. That's why I want to make sure. <laughs> I want to make sure because we had that happen a few times for a lot of guests on here. They were mad. They were like, bro, how you didn't tell me that I was talking through my PC? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, bro, you, you know, it's funny because my, my brother does deal with, you know, cameras and stuff like that. He works for MSG Network. So he would tell me the same thing. Like, yo, your, your audio is off. <laughs> so hey, like, man. Yeah. But, but I hear you now. We good. Yeah, we, yeah, good we, good, we good. We good. We good. We good. So yeah, sometimes I, on, sometimes I, we gotta make sure everybody good. We gotta make sure we, <laughs> make sure the fam good. But y'all, how about you, man? How about how you feel before we start? How about you? How you feeling? I mean, I'm good, man. You know, it's uh, I got vacation coming up. Uh, <laughs> definitely might <laughs> shit. You know, I got vacation time coming up next week, so you know, I might be in Philly, so I might check up with some people. You gonna be checking up with your boys over here because we, let's go. We pretty much got all the tickets except for one, and then but yeah, we, we mm-hmm. definitely. I, I, and also, I got my uh, my turtlenecks coming through. I got, them, <laughs> I got them delivered. They're gonna be here by Saturday. So because I went shopping, I'm like, bro, I need some turtlenecks, but it, it don't nobody locally. I feel like nobody locally has coming up clothes. north. <laughs> yeah, in general, I'm like, nobody has clothes for me. I'm like, bro, I need turtlenecks. 
<laughs> so I went ahead and ordered. I'm like, I got a white one and a black one, so I got options. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Trying to come up like uh like the patriarchy in Christian. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, 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 is your father present? <laughs> Listen, turtlenecks, <laughs> turtlenecks. Yes, man. Gotta got the turtleneck, you know. Put the chain with it one good time, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I got the chain. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm pulling out that gold chain too. I'm like, come on, hey, we're gonna be I'm in like, that mode. I might go buy me some more just in case, just so I can have options. I yeah, brother yeah. gotta have options. <laughs> and then you know they're gonna they're gonna probably have some at the uh at the little uh WWE world store too. Oh yeah, you know oh, what I'm oh no, I, 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 I oh, no, the, that. oh no, the axe the axe is about to go crazy from what I from what I remember because uh my brother worked the access for Kofi. What Manion. is it WWE World now? Yeah, it's WWE World, but like when my brother did it, it was WrestleMania Access, and like yo, he said that ish was crazy. So uh, let's go. Hey. We're going to WrestleMania. We're going to WrestleMania. That nigga text me that. I was like, bro, you such a nerd, but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always wanted to say it, bro. I never thought I was going to actually have that chance to be like, we're going to WrestleMania. I was like, hey, Gresh, we're going to WrestleMania, bro. Yeah, let's man. do it. Yeah, hey, I'll man, because that's the thing. Me and him last year, we was like, bro, we got we to gotta knock this out. We got to mm-hmm. knock this out at least once. And then one, and me and him got this pack. Like once we got, once we, once we knocked out, because we've been to SummerSlam what twice, twice now? in a row. Summer, SummerSlam, we're knocking out Mania. After that, it's like it's a wrap. We're not traveling <laughs> no more. It, yeah. it, you either come to Atlanta or we just do not bother. Yeah, <laughs> or somewhere in the south, but I mean, preferably Atlanta because they've been doing this dirty with Atlanta, boy. Like for Man. real, for real. Like bring <laughs> back WrestleMania, you bitches. No, <laughs> or Royal Rumble or something at least. Like, good God, man. Sheesh. Oh man, Rumble, I, Rumble will go crazy in Atlanta. Sh- yeah, because we had two what 2002 and 2010. Yeah, that was it, man. And see, that was before they were even doing like they were still doing arenas back then. That was like freaking State we Farm the, Arena. We got the Mercedes Benz Stadium. It's a nice stadium. I've been in there twice. Yeah. Hey, we, we good. Just come That's on. Right. Like, definitely not to watch. Oh, oh no, nah, hold on. Peep this though. There's another reason why you need why they need to come though. The food is cheap, dog. Arthur Black made that affordable, bro. Yes, he made it affordable. But then I again, heard. don't tell nobody that because I feel like if he's if he finds out, if people find out, they're gonna raise it back up. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna raise it right back. No, no, no. He wouldn't. He wouldn't because he promised not to ever do that. Like he, he said he remembers. He's a politician. They lie. <laughs> nah, hey, he, he may be, but he one of the realists though. Real talk. Shout out, to yeah, he, I know, he, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, I talk to him all the time. Like the, the, the family know him. Like people, that's people don't understand. I, I, I joke a lot, but most of the people that y'all be talking about, I know them. I've had dinner with them. So, <laughs> so. Man. Nah, I I get it, I get it. But yo, speaking of getting, hey, you want you ready to start the show? Yeah. Let's do it, dog. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been talking long enough. I know they're tired of hearing us talk. <laughs> <laughs> we got y'all. You? Oh yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, stand to your feet and make noise for grass. Let's go. When the club go around here, I'm a cat. This bang bang gang got an OG bang, bang. jack. When I'm in the ring, it's just me and my best friends. OC cutting no slack. Hollywood right. Miz, you can put me on the A list. Crush unleash, better put it on your playlist. Me and my fam be ballin' like the Bruce. Fight night, baby, hard hitting like Sheamus. Family first, yes, bloodline business. We winning all the gold. Look at how they witness. I was taught to be the greatest. A thousand days I'm running. Check out the book again. Cooling with the baddies in the baddie section. Guarantee you they ain't jaded. Nah. Yeah, you baby face. I ain't feeling your gimmick. The fans think it's overrated. Mm-hmm. Yes. Rod Lesnar on the beast. On the beast. Uh, East sleep flex and repeat. Uh, Whole new swag with a price on the tag. Coming live from the west to the east. Coastal. Better recognize on the mouthpiece. mouthpiece. See the power level gotta increase. increase. Bringing content on a daily. daily. Feeling like Gresh Unleashed. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, non binary pals, baby mamas, baby daddies, and everybody in between. Welcome back to the Gresh Unleashed podcast. This is episode 64. We are less than two weeks away. From the Gresh Unleashed fam, the free of Peter, your boys taking over Philly. And joining you as always is the voice that does the most, the purveyor of mischief, Gresh. And joining me as always is my main man, my right-hand man, my partner in them, Mr. Highlight Real. But joining us for the very first time, representing the backstage brawl, 
What is up with your partner? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? He called himself the final boss, but I want him to introduce you. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, real, my, my, my real name is Randy, but I am the people's champion of the backstage, bro. I am the producer, the writer, the editor, chief in charge um, of the brawl. Um, and basically, um, you know, we were on Saturdays on the sports hit list uh, with me, my guy brother Todd, my younger brother Jay, who's also in media and uh, content creations. Um, and Kid Ty was our fantasy booking extraordinaire. Um, so, you know, we just, we just like fantasy booking. We like getting into shit. You know, we sometimes don't take shit seriously, but we just, we just like to have fun. Hey, that's my kind of, that's my kind of, I love it when now. people don't take shit serious. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's sports, man. it's wrestling. We're fans at the end of the day. Yeah, people yeah, yeah. take this stuff too serious to too the serious, point where I'm just like, like, bro, Bruh. you're not even on payroll. Bro, <laughs> come on. And even if you was on payroll, you still don't need to take it that, you, can, yeah. you don't need to take it that serious. Like, it's yeah. not that deep. Ain't that seriously? Like, I've been seeing people posting numbers, numbers and all this stuff. I'm like, bro, unless it's a bank, uh, an increase to your bank account, let it go. <laughs> let it go. But yo, man, make sure you guys check them out. Like, like we've been chopping it up, going back and forth, for, like for crazy. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you've been, you've seen all the multiple stages of yours truly on on social media. You're, you're currently in the, <laughs> the first stage where it's like I can still get buck wild, but I just choose, I choose yeah, my yeah. battles. I choose, I choose my choice. piece. So, mm -hmm. uh, not, not like I'm about to be 30. Like, bro, I'm getting too over this shit. <laughs> believe, believe me, life on the other side of 30 is peaceful if you let it. Exactly. Uh -huh. it's, pe it's peaceful if you let it. I'm catching this now yeah, as yeah. opposed to letting myself get into like, you know, when you're getting stuck in your ways, mm -hmm. where it's like you can't change it. Yeah. I'm catching that now where it's like I'm semi stuck in my ways, but I can still change it. No, I'm, uh, for me, I'm, I'm always self-aware in terms of you know where I'm at, regardless of whatever's going on. So if mm -hmm. I know I get a if I get a big ass head at some point, you know, I just try to you know try to keep myself in the middle, and, and do what I need to do, you know, to kind of just humble myself and just get back on the right, get on the good foot, and just keep pushing. For sure, like and and that's that, honestly yeah, like being self-aware. I feel like anybody can get further in life with that. Like I choose, like <laughs> if I wanted to. I could just brag about who I, who I know, who I talk to, who I spend time with every single day, but I just choose not to because it's like, who am I at the end of the day? I'm 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 a I'm a, I'm a regular individual. Like I I, yeah. I live and breathe because the life that God gave me. Because I choose, like I choose my battles wisely. Mm -hmm. And if I slip up, mm -hmm. I slip up. But it's like, as a person, you have to be willing to give yourself grace as well as give other people grace. So that that's the stage of my life that I'm slowly trying to accept is giving myself grace because because yeah. for me because for me as a virgo i'm a natural giver so mm -hmm. it's like I'm, I'm a natural giver I, I like facilitating like making sure that you know everybody well taken care of i'm usually the last person to take care of you know for for me but as i've gotten into my 30s you know mm -hmm. it, it's it's basically i'm starting to learn to take care of myself and you know heal a certain way so you know i i'm enjoying this side of 30 though oh yeah so yes, sir. I, I can't wait to get to that side of 30 because the reason why i say that it's like Growing up, I was like, I, uh, do I want to get older? But it's like the more that I've experienced life, I'm like, it's so many people my age and younger who's never even touched 18, 21, 29. So it's like, I just look at everything as a blessing in disguise. The only blessing I don't have in disguise is these gnats that I got in my house. I don't even know how to act. <laughs> like, it's gnats. And so it's like, if you see a gnat floating around, it's not even, it's not because my house is dirty. It's because these gnats just found a way to get in my damn house. I'm starting, <laughs> to, I'm starting to see them because it's starting to get warm up here in New York. So it's like, it's, it's, I'm like, God. It's too early. Yeah. It's just too early, like, man. Oh man, it's it's, it's you, give me at least to May. To May. Like, that come is. on, man. Y'all spawning up like Samoans. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, they do, man. No, I, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> but yo, before we get into everything that's going on, but for those of you who, who haven't already been peeping everything, today's episode is 64. So it's like we're gonna be talking about a lot of things, mainly uh the rock and Cody Rose and and Roman Reigns and the whole WrestleMania build, as well as NXT, AEW, Mercedes Monday's first week in AEW, and the TNT title I Quit match. So much to talk about over there, as well as on the main channel for the for the bread and butter of this of this illustrious podcast. Make sure you guys check out uh, my first episode of the Undisputed My Rise. I dropped that on on YouTube uh, Sunday. Uh, I, I, this is a series that I've thrown over to an editor. So it's like, I'm not touching it. So it's like, whenever the editor gets it to me, the new episodes will drop. It's more so just to keep the channel active. 
Um, also, make sure you guys check out the challenge videos I've been dropping. The last one I did was on Trick and Carmelo. We're going to talk about them when we get to NXT. So that was a fun experience. I, I played the ambulance match on Legend Difficulty. So it's like, it's a challenging experience when you do the default sliders, but you can always tweak the sliders and all that good stuff. Fun stuff over there. And also, for those of you who have been asking on social media, you can download yours truly on Community Creations in WWE 2K24, Showtime, Gresh. That's the gimmick that I've been using for uh, for my rise. Uh, it's, it's fully customized entrance, victory, move set, all that stuff. You can, hit, you can hit my ball game, which is basically a pump handle into a, a front slam or the final call, which is a forearm, running forearm from the corner. So you guys can check that out and you can download yours truly. That custom render was literally just me messing around. It came out goofy, and that's how I choose to consume my content. So you guys can enjoy that render. But yeah, WWE 2K24. Mm-hmm. Have you played 2K24? Nah, nah. I've, I've been, I work in healthcare, so it's like between brawl shit and, and working, I'm always working. So it's like I'm between, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been able to get it yet. Hopefully um, when I have the vacation time, I'm going to sit down to play it. But I hear good things, though. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's your typical 2K game. Like I tell people all the time, it's not perfect. But it's 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 a fun experience if you just go in with the, just to have fun. Like that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing more y- y- I can really say about it. It's like it's a it's a fun it's a fun time. It's a fun it's, it's a it's fun. It's better than two, it's like you could tell that they're evolving past two K twenty two. Okay, but you can okay. tell that the more it's like it's 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 evolving, but it's still buggy because it's a typical two K LOL two K. Like you know how everybody say LOL TNA? I say LOL two K when it's stuff like that. Like certain things I can't do. Like I can't like I have an alternate attire. It, when I play in an exhibition, it defaults back to the default attire and not the custom attire. And I'm like, this is a bug that has been prominent since two K fifteen and you're and it's still a problem now. So it's like stuff like that. I, I it, it it used to irk me, but now I'm just like LOL 2K. You you and Ty will have an interesting conversation over the game because he has those same critiques about the game. He's like, I wouldn't say a Russian judge about it, but he's like, I'm gonna enjoy the game and still you know play the shit out of it. But it's more mm-hmm. so like when it comes to the nuances of it, like you guys will have an interesting conversation over it. Oh yeah, for sure. Man. Like I always have that, like I always have those type of like I look at because it, I guess because I played game for so long. I've been playing video games since probably I was like, I think since the PS one. No, Dreamcast. Dreamcast. That's how long I've been playing. My older brother had it. And he had the Dreamcast and the Nintendo 64. So, like, Ready to Rumble, all that stuff, the crazy taxi. <laughs> like, that's how long I've been playing games. Yeah, that's uh, just a- I- <laughs> Head of his time, boy. Yeah, Head of his time. I'm still trying to find one. I, I need to find a, a, a Dreamcast and a Nintendo 64 just, you know, it's just crazy. for the aesthetics. There's, there's, there's a trading post up here in Levittown in Long Island in mm-hmm. Nassau County. And they have like all the games. I think they have a Dreamcast too. They have like PlayStations, Nintendo six N sixty fours, PS twos, PS one games, like all them old retro games at this trading post in, in Long Island. My god brother Tyler like swears by it. He goes to it, you know. And uh, actually, we're supposed to be going over there soon because he's trying to get some retro controls right now to like play some, you know, play, play on play PlayStation two because uh, mm-hmm. that DBZ Tenkaichi. Come yeah. on, man. come on, man! Come on, man! man. Let's get with it. Let's you just go. Brought, you just lots of memories. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a quick story. Over that was like I think it was like nine. It, it was like nine years ago, right? Twenty like twenty. All right, twenty fifteen. Like we had people over at my house during mm-hmm. the summertime, play video games on the third. My brother had his kid, his his uh, his friends from college come through, so it was kind of like you know we had like a little mini house party, so to speak. And then like. Tyler was playing uh, Budokai Tenkaichi, and he was like, yo, you, yo, you want to play? It's like, I haven't played this game in so long. It's like, blah, 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 blah. So they started playing. So, he, you know, they were playing with the sticks. I shit you not. Man's had the controller in one hand, whooping ass the entire time, all three rounds. <laughs> oh, man. And, I, and I'm, looking, I'm looking at him like, I'm like, yo, are you, yo, you are an asshole. In, in my head, I'm like, I'm proud, but at the same time, you are an asshole. Like, whipping him with, with one controller, just whipping ass. And he was using weak characters, too. I'm like, <laughs> like you know how mm-hmm. cocky you have to be to use oh, weaker, yeah. weaker characters? I guess <laughs> people that are OP. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. 
Yo. We used to we used to do that. Um, <laughs> shout out to Tekken, man. We would do the same thing at the dorm, man. We used to do that with Tekken, boy. Like if we play somebody, we knew that you know it's like acting like they was the ish. We'd be like, all right, cool. Let's see what you got. You know what I'm saying? We test them out a little bit, and after a while, nine times out of ten, if we just knew they weren't no challenge, we'd be like, all right, one hand is more. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you just like one hand. You pick so, whoever so, you so, want to so, pick. So, so you so you the same. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like 100, man. Like some of the DBZ games, it kind of depends on, on which one it is. But I know when it comes to like most Tekkens, I'm usually like on that level with that. So like DBZ, man, I got to see which ones. Like it's certain ones like Raging Blast was one I was always pretty good with. Uh, Detention Kai Cheese, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm definitely games. looking forward to Sparking Zero to see what that do. But uh, yeah, dog, those, hey, fighting games, bro, it get personal sometimes. You gotta it be- do. It <laughs> do. L- listen, listen, I, ha- I have my god brother and his younger and his younger brother, like, couple, like last summer, they were going at it at the new Mortal, the Mortal, Com- Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, yeah. They were, they were going at it last year. And it was like, yo, the younger brother was whooping the older brother's ass. I'm just looking at him just like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like yo, I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm proud as an elder seeing this happen. Mm-hmm. When the same token, I was like, "Damn, like you getting cooked." <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. It's like when you see when you see that, you like, "Oh no, I got to get back into reps, bro." Hold on, I can't let this happen. Like, no, nah, but bro. it's a sense of pri- it's a sense of pride because it's like yo, now that you know, like yo, when, when he has a little one or he has mm-hmm. another, like whatever, like he can pass that on. Like it's a rite of passage. Like that's it was passed on to me. <laughs> it was passed on to my younger brother. It was passed on somebody else. Like th- this is the generational like. Mm-hmm. angst of like you know getting your ass whooped but becoming the master <laughs> with the sticks at these fighting games and then, when, and then when you're able to pass it down to like you know the next generation yeah you yeah. don't feel so bad like you know you're doing it you're doing it right no nah, facts bro hey it was like that with the maddens too yo because like the maddens like when they were good <laughs> not these recent ones but like what, anything what was, last, from like, what was the last one good for you what, what madden was the last one that uh, was high? Truthfully, oh, for me, I would say, I mean, yeah, 08 low key, but I the That's last true one I played was probably 2013. Like that was the last true one I played. Like for real, for you real. Did better than me. Yeah, I tried 09. I tried 09 and said, fuck this. <laughs> I think, oh, no, see, oh, nine was still good, man. Like no, anything, oh, nine was good. I yeah, oh, nine was, was good because that was when they had that golden era of running backs, man. Oh, nine was oh, like nine you was had good. all the running backs in that one, man. That was that running back era, but like. Somewhere like right when Calvin Johnson, that era like 2013, and it just I, bro, it just dropped, and it was just like Crazy. I think <laughs> I hopped back on, like I retired from it per whatever, and just strictly went 2K. But then like uh, right when I missed 2K, 2K football, man, come on, bro, <laughs> <laughs> 2K. But see, I was look, I was talking about, I saw they I'm brought my age, people. but damn it, like bro, listen, listen, <laughs> let me tell you, I saw. Being at GameStop, right? I saw like when I found out, I was like, "Oh, Top Spin coming back, a little tennis game." And I was like, "Cause the little game, them sports that people don't watch that often. Sometimes the video games go hard, like tennis, golf, and all that." So like, I saw Top Spin. I was like, "I remember playing that. That's back." But then as soon as I saw who got it, I said, "2K." Ugh, never mind, man. I don't know. Like <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, "Bruh, I already know this gonna be straight pay to play. They gonna try to make you earn." <laughs> I like, nah, man. Can somebody else? Public service announcement, please. Outside of EA, can somebody please take over the sports <laughs> games? I need somebody to challenge 2K immediately. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't care if it's an up and coming indie developer. We need new sports developers to make competition out here, bro. That's it's gonna be a while. Thin. There's no more 989 on uh, 989 sports. There's no more midway. Come on. There was none of that. The, the, the Midway games, especially with the N- Midway football games back in the yeah, day. Yeah, bro. On an N64. Bruh. Yeah. Like, like them days, like <laughs> I, I didn't care about yeah. homework. It was just it was just gaming for me. Like, <laughs> bro, come on, man. Like NFL like, Blitz the league, bro. Where you can like, just I, Blitz was a shit. Like back in <laughs> what? Power uh... dropping people. Like, I used to love just power dropping somebody <laughs> right after a play dead with so you just Ugh, pick him up, power model. I was like, bro, what kind of football game is this? And then, and then, and, and then playing like uh, nine eight nine sports college football, like them, like I used to play with the volunteer, like Tennessee Volunteers back in the day. Yeah. And then like when I when I when I stumbled upon them like early two thousands Miami teams, like 
Oh, <laughs> hey man, that's like playing with Michael Vick in 2004, man, bro. You bro, that was my, that was the that was the best man for me because Mike Vick was a terror, bro. Talk about it, dog. Mike Vick was a terror for me, so that, that we, was a we game. had a rule. We had a rule in our house where we could not play <laughs> his team at all because he was the most overpowered player he in that game. For no damn reason, I said, no reason, you are bro. not. If they even thought about ch- choosing Mike Vick and his team, <laughs> I'm like, bro, you about to get no get, one's getting get the yo, no one's bro. getting the ball for me. It's like he's running every possession, every, every bro. Possession. come on, like, man. He run every down, and if he gets a, a slight opening, it's a fucking wrap. And the sad thing is, <laughs> even if you if you bump the difficulty down, he was mm-hmm. still he was still whooping your ass, bro. <laughs> no, like okay. Either you are overpowered, or I gotta step my game up. And when I step my game up, you still overpowered. So no, you are the problem. Bro. <laughs> nah, nah, there, nah, there were times I had to go to GameSpot.com to look for any type of cheats or any type of rules. Like, <laughs> bro, so I, was, I was like, yo, something gotta give, bro. Like I, used, like, I was like, I used to go online when it was still dial up to look at for these, these like any type of rule. <laughs> oh no, boy, you really you really telling our age now. Dial up. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's funny? That that give me a question for the chat. That's a first starter question for the chat, yo. <laughs> Anybody in the chat right now? I want you to comment about any athlete from any sports year game that you played that was just terror to play, all right? I'll start. Like for me, man, me and my cousin used to go back and forth for NBA 2K10. Kobe Bryant in 2010. Kobe? Kobe. Bro. Bro. My cousin, kid you not, this man came up on, he, he went up against somebody head to head. Swear to God, in 30 seconds, this man came back from 10 points with Kobe Bryant alone. Made that person so mad he quit. I was like, <laughs> bro, how did you do that? Nah, All because that man's jumper was just unstoppable. Like, uh, laid away and everything. I got one. I got one. Um. Terrell Owens with the Eagles in NFL 2K t- 2K5. <laughs> that nigga was a cheat Yo. code. <laughs> <laughs> that that McNabb TO combo was crazy. Bruh. You just gave me soon PTSD all over. Again. <laughs> that, was, that was I think that was one of my villain origin stories playing my cousin against him, with him. I was Bruh. like, bro, well, what team did you use? <sighs> I forgot because it was so long. Shit. Um it had to have been the Falcons. That's probably this. In, I, which is <laughs> ironic. Why. Which is it, ironic. It makes complete sense now. Which it makes is complete ironic. sense now. Oh, yo, no one might see. I was so dedicated to the Falcons. You you let me down twice when I was younger and when I was older. Man, it's so, always fuck you. So, so you so you justify it. I am justified in my hatred justified. with the Falcons. Like I hate them virtually and in real life. That makes total sense. That makes total sense. Hey. Shout every, out to- every, every every Sunday, like I look, I look for two people. I look for Seth Rollins after every Bears loss, <laughs> and Gresh, <laughs> and Gresh. But every time oh, yeah. the, the Falcons win, if he's Bruh. upset, if they lose, he celebrates. I'm like, yeah, bro. And they oh like, are you from here? Why are you so? <laughs> because it's fuck them niggas. Yeah, I don't care. yeah. I get it. Listen, I I I get it. I feel it, bro. I feel it, dog. Listen, I, I, oh, I get it, man. J- jump off on tour set, Fat Joe and, and Def, Def Jam. Jam Fight for Yo. New York. Yo, son. <laughs> I heard stories about that legend, boy. Son, oh, my goodness. The amount, the amount of controls my older brother broke <laughs> trying to beat Fat Joe. <laughs> That's how, it. Was bad, bro. Like, oh, like. Goodness. Like, cause every time I was like, yo, I don't even know how he had enough money to get more new controllers. Cause it was like, yo, he'll be sitting in the front of the TV, like, yo, I got this, Ren. I got this. All of a sudden, like, as soon as he gets him, this the Spat Joe automatically has his special, picks you up, does that twist around power bomb slam, whatever shit he does, boom, <laughs> and then you drain your whole power. It's not humanly possible. I can tell It's you not that humanly much. possible. And my brother just like, yo. It got to a point where, like, he swung the controller when you could still attach it to the PlayStation. It swung like a guitar and slammed that shit on the floor just out Dang, of anger. Because it was like, because Fat Joe was that hard to beat. For no reason, bro. Like, bro. Like, bro. like, like, thank God controllers are wireless in it. Because I'm like, yo, because these controllers are expensive. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if y'all played, uh, what was it? Uh, it was, it was street basketball. 
on the yeah. Nintendo 64. Was uh, it, was uh, it? to my in the NBA Street, NBA Street NBA Volume Street. Two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I forgot who what, who was the who was the OG that I could not be with Big Fro. Oh, oh stretch, 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 stretch. That yes. motherfucker. I wanted to shoot oh, that him out. <laughs> <laughs> I could not beat him for to, to for within an inch of my life. No, nah, I, I tried to play him, the, bro. I was I start see my goofy had started playing playing against him with, with Nelly. That was the first mistake. Then I Ooh. and then I played with him against I, I forgot who it was because it, it was so long. It was like two thousand five or four. So it's been a, it's been a minute. It's been over twenty years at this point. That's how old. I, Damn, I was ten years old losing my mind. <laughs> so it's, uh. it was. It, uh, now was Kobe in there? Because I, I was it Kobe. I think Kobe, he was because they usually have. Of... I can't even beat him with Kobe. Dang. That's how OP he was. Stretch was stretch was stretching me out. Pause. <laughs> Pardon the left. Pardon the left. Oh no, Diddy! No Diddy! No Diddy! Oh, <laughs> no Diddy! No Diddy! That fool! Oh my god! Uh, oh lord! Bro, these video games was stressing us out, bro. Like y'all understand, so it's like you, you had to, you had to. When you beat him back in the day, you earned it. Yeah, like, like I can't nope. tell you when I finally beat him. I my shirt was was like this. By the time I beat him, my shirt was down like this because I was sweating, stress <laughs> pulling on it, and then they, like my mom walked in the room. She was like, "Bro, why are you sweating so much?" I'm like, "I beat Stretch." And I said Bruh. nothing else and walked out. She was like, "The who the fuck is Stretch?" <laughs> <laughs> I just said that because I'm like, "I pee Stretch." Like it took me literally all day. I forgot Bruh. to eat. That's how annoyed I was. I was like, "I am not about to." I no, I Bruh. got to win. Bruh. So it was like from. So it's like if you beat Stretch, if you beat Mike Vick, if you mm-hmm. beat, if you finally beat Fat Joe. You mm-hmm. deserve, yo, you deserve everything. <laughs> oh, oh. And let's it took, not forget. It took everything to be Fat Joe. Look, <laughs> let's not forget someone that was just as terrorizing as Fat Joe to any boxing fans that ever played Fight Night Champion. That mofo, uh, whatever the heck is, the ice or something, that oh. bro was just as hard too because it seemed like every time he punched you, it was an instant knockout. And you're like, Nick, how? Yeah. Bro, I'm talking about like every time. You getting through everybody, knocking people out on your way to him. You finally get the big fight against him after what he did to your little brother, beating him down senseless. You thinking, okay, I'm going to get my get back. Man, that fight is so freaking hard. It ain't even funny, bro. It's like, God. That that, that brought some PTSD. <laughs> we, we, we have a lot of PTSD stories with these games. <laughs> Yo, certain, certain games, you could utter the name and the level. You can remember the level. If you, you you as great as San Andreas as it was, you you know the level what we talking about, you know? Ooh, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like yeah. you talk about like uh uh the first Modern Warfare for Call of Duty, like you remember like that that zone where you're just like, how am I how am I gonna get out? With, and the aim is shitty, <laughs> <laughs> and the aim is still shitty today. But you but you gotta you still gotta finagle it, like. Oh my God. <laughs> but back then it was real shitty. Right. <laughs> see, see. Oh, man, man, man. I remember me and my cousin were beefing one day and we sat down together still mad to play Street Fighter Alpha. And when we beat the special Bison versus Raul and Ken battle, we ended up hooking. <laughs> hey, yo, Street Fighter almost ended a friendship of mine back in the day. Oh boy. Yo, you know how many you know how many uh it, it fights had, I don't I don't survive because of these of street fighter. Uh, it bro. gets intense, like it, it's almost worse than spades. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why I be laughing when people be like, Hey, you need to learn space. I'm like, no, you need to you need to learn street fighter and let's, Legit. See, let's see if you can Legit. survive. <laughs> bro, <laughs> and, and then bro, OG MK with Goro as the mother freaking uh boss oh, before the boss. Boy, Bruh, trying to beat that forearm, son of a man. Look, <laughs> the, o- the OG, the OG Streets of Rage games, like uh, Street, 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 Streets of Rage three, was like the hardest one to beat. It because really because that, that the it final still level, is low key. it still is, and it holds up to this day. And I'm just like, yo, 
<laughs> they don't make games like that no more. They, they, they don't. They don't cause, cause it, they, cause games challenge you. Today is like, yo, everything's a microtransaction. It's like, yo, I'm kind of lazy to get it, so I'm just gonna pay for this five bucks. <laughs> and, and, and the company's getting their money, so you, you the know, company's getting like, their money because the game ain't finished. They just get they just seventy five percent done. It's like, all right, we'll just give you a patch. You just gotta pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like two K. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's, so because we're already on patch one point four for WWE two K twenty four. So that's why I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised if we do like ten patches by the end of the year. See, man. Like, yeah. they, good at, they good at doing that. It's like sometimes they be, they'll patch some stuff in. Like I already know they're gonna do it with the DLC. Uh, this is the point of the show now uh, where we chop it up with the fam. That's, that's what we've been doing. Like, you got any news uh, for us? Uh, either one of y'all got any news? I got some stuff that I want to talk about, but I want to see if y'all got the, the table. The floor is y'all's if y'all want to talk about something. Uh, it, 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 doesn't guess, have, it doesn't have to know. be exclusive. It doesn't have to be exclusive to wrestling. It can be anything. Okay. We just, I'm going to let the guests talk about it real quick. You know what I'm saying? So what, you yeah, what you want to talk about? What you want to talk about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Raymond, oh, what you want to talk oh, about? Yeah, you. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know where y'all was going. Nah, 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 nah. You the guest, bro. We letting you get first deals, man. Like, like, what you want to talk about? Anything you want to talk about. Like, it, it don't have to be exclusive to wrestling. It could be in, anything. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just chilling, just vibing with life right now, man. About to, you know, hit okay. Puerto Rico, about to hit Puerto Rico in a couple weeks. So. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Now, PR, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puerto Rico. My, yeah, my, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to do that for the birthday, so I feel my, that. My boy's getting married. Um, so you know, I was like, bachelor trip. So you know, it's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to that. Obviously, looking forward to next week. I'm definitely trying to get to Wally Mania. So I, some of my people's gonna be up there. So I'm gonna chop be there in my people. turtleneck. Yes, sir. We'll be in the building. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be in the building. Let's go. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna spend some time with people. Some people. Piece that I know that's up there. Other than that, man, I'm just I'm just chilling, just vibing with life, man. I'm about to say, speaking of turn next, uh, y'all peeped that uh, I quit match last week on AEW. Yeah, yeah. What you think? Mm-hmm. What you think about it? What you think about it? Let's start with you, Raymond. What you think about it? My <clears throat> Ty's gonna hate me for this, but I, I was I was cutting ass on Ty because he's a huge talent, a uh, huge Christian fan. Mm-hmm. So I was like, um, I was telling like, all right, man. I don't think Ed's gonna get it tonight. Da, 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 da. It's just, it just, you know, it shows that Christian's probably, you know, is the guy in, in AEW compared to where Ed is in WWE, right? He's mm-hmm. like, he's like, man, don't give me hope. Like, he's like, he's like, you know what's gonna happen. You by you saying that, you already just jinxed it. And then you know, like seeing him, like seeing Edge when he's like, yeah, a fucking course, Edge is gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> like my god sometimes he has like the craziest sense of humor but at the same time the way he, the way he dishes it out man you know it, it, it makes for good banter especially on our show what about you how like because i actually i actually enjoyed it a little bit like it was it was a little long for me i don't know what it is about i quit long last man standing matches it's like i feel like they drag a little bit because it's like okay what are we doing? Like after a while, it's like well, it's nothing possible for you to do. But then, then that man hit him in the balls, spike. I said, "Off, oh, oh hell no!" Nah. <laughs> you can. There's a there is a, there is this fake proverbial list of things that Gresh won't ever take a bump for, and that is one of them. Fuck that. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> My boy said he already got his seed, so he good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, and, and I'm like, bro. I thought honestly, I thought he was gonna fake doing it. And then he just said, "Nope, we're going." It wasn't even a, a pump. It's like a full. He wound it back and just said, oh, "I'm like, swung see, up. see." Yeah. What you think about the the match? How like? Uh, you know, it was fun, man. It was typical, you know, veteran. You know how you mentioned it dragged a bit. You know, that's 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 typically what we expect these veterans to do. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, they got to make it super dramatic, man. They got to do what they do, and. uh yeah, I can't say I was too surprised by the outcome. I kind of figured, even though we could argue and say Adam don't really need the title, per se, uh, I mean, it's kind of like what we're going to say about Cody when we get into that. It's like, well, okay, he won again. So now what? Does the TMT title go back to limbo? Hot potato in? What happens? I can see them doing a couple of matches. Like mm-hmm. you know how the, him defending, he'll probably defend it on Collision a couple of times. Christian might want his rematch. We might get them at Dynasty, maybe I don't know. Um, and then 
I guess he'll probably put get, drop it to like I won't I won't be mad at him dropping it to Danny Garcia or Daniel Garcia. I don't want to confuse it with uh the Rock's ex wife. So Daniel Garcia. Mm, fair. I mean, yeah. I guess yeah, he he could be up next to do it because I mean, shoot, we ain't gonna see Darby for a while, and he was the only other person. I mean, Joe, that's like a downgrade for him at this point if he ever loses that title. So it's like, uh, man, I guess Dan- Daniel Garcia does seem like the only real true candidate that would be somebody to take it off of him if they decide to go that route. Oh, true, true. Uh, Okada is the. Continental, I mean, the what is it? Which title is it? The this? Continental. continental. <laughs> just take the enter out. You had it right. You just take the enter out. It's continental. I was like, I'm like, what title is this? It's sad that I keep saying this. I'm like, what title is this? <laughs> it's crazy that they have because international another title. title. Another title. Right. Yeah, like, also, oh, that's probably what it is. I'm like, wait, what yeah, title? I have to like, literally look at the bell like, what title is this? It's, oh, the Continental title. It's so weird, right? Because they got international title, Continental title, intercontinental title in wwe so you're like bro what are we doing here this 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 is just too parallel and for some yeah. reason the way i was and tony khan corrected it but i was confused i thought all titles were to be defended but it was just that one like so eddie is still the roh and the new japan strong world champs but he just lost that title and i guess someone reported it or whatever but they said uh Basically, he'll be defending it under Continental Classic rules where no one's allowed to interfere, time limits and all that stuff. And then when it's time to do the tournament again, he'll defend it in the tournament. And if he's eliminated in the first round, it'll, it'll be a new champ. He had to go through, he'll have to go through the tournament again to keep it, basically. That's a... <laughs> All right, <laughs> I, I guess sometimes they just think a little too wrestling. I mean, I get it. I guess I can give them some creativity, but uh, that's just man. Come on, he needs another writer. <laughs> he really does, bro. I mean, they hired a, a COO, but I, yeah, he needs another writer. Like, fuck the COO. He needs another writer. <laughs> yeah, that man need a whole team of writers at this point, my guy. Because because it's like you're it's like you're giving him the like it's like. He, you're trying to give him a pen to write, but yet he wants to use that crayon and color out of the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, bro. Hey, where that? Uh, I was just thinking about this dude the other day, man. I was like, hey, where uh, where that Zeb Coulter dude at? Where he at? Go get him. What, For real. What's, what's his oh, real? What was it? Was, du- du- was it du- Dutch, Dutch Mantel? Dutch Mantel. Yeah. yeah. Dutch Mantel. Yeah, yeah. Go, go get him, man. He, he a good writer. You know, he done did some cool stuff with uh some of the ladies and stuff like that, like. Strictly, strictly the ladies, because we don't need no we the people shit no more. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Nah, we don't need, we don't need that. We do. <laughs> he got Jake Hager over there. You already know he's gonna be like, "Hey, let's do we the people again." Right, get your ass out of here, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like, they, they didn't care about you over there. What makes you think they're gonna care about you over here? <laughs> man. Uh, Boy. Mercedes Monet. Speaking of p- people we care about, Mercedes Monet's mm. first week. Like, uh, what's everybody's thoughts on her first week? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, I, I got, I got to give it time, man. Listen, you know, I, yeah. I know we give AW shit about like their create creative levels as it pertains to women, and considering the fact that Mercedes, you know, by default is their big star in that division um this is her chance to kind of see how she can you know get herself with you know with these other women creatively and see what sticks story you know storyline wise obviously she has an opening with willow still because their last match she got hurt and there's still a storyline between them and of course you know looking at you know anna jay and julia hart and all these other women that she has a chance to get in you know mix it up with you know it's it's, it, it provides a potential for a lot of good stuff it does, man. Um, Mercedes, I'm going to shout out uh, shout out Ash Benny, shout out to Janelle from HR, um, from Life Sabach, man, while I've been on my step away, you know, and letting the ladies do their thing. Actually, there was a theory. You know, yeah, cool peoples, man. Um, they they That's actually, family. Family. they were doing a uh, theory, and actually I heard Janelle talk about the fact of, like, her appearance is giving, like, GM vibes almost in a sense, like, where they can't really tell 
mm-hmm. what exactly is, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she's looking like she's about to wrestle, but it also kind of feels like she's giving orders like a GM, even though it's like CEO moniker and stuff like that. So it's like, I kind of have to agree, man. We got to let time just kind of pass it by to see yeah. where she's headed. Cause it's like, she looks like she's setting up the mid card, not really rushing to get to the main, you know, title picture, but then at the same time having these interactions with talents, like we see here in these photos. So it's like, I don't know, man, we gotta, we gotta let this play out. See what happens. <laughs> you saying the same thing I'm saying, because you know how many comments I don't read? Oh, AEW don't flop this. Bitch, it's been a week. <laughs> hey, what 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 the great Aaron Rodgers used to say when people start overreacting? Um, uh, R E L A X. Relax. Relax. It's, it's been a week. Like that's. I'm like. I'm ready to go. I'm like. And, and, and then what, what cracks me up is whenever I ask, okay, how would you have booked her thus far? No response. So you just complaining. It, 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 Let's have let's have dialogue. If you feel like it's a flop, let, let's have dialogue. People like discourse. People like discourse for whatever reason. Just, but, just to hear just to hear themselves speak and feel important. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's what I that's what I feel. And and those <clears> who normally <throat> get into conversations that end up into argument pointless arguments all the time. And you see it every day on Twitter. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's like there's other things to do in life. You can you, 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 you can smoke some weed. You can you can drink some wine. You can you know. Masturbate. You, there's plenty of things you could do. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, it, it's it, it's a real oh. human thing. These people, you know, whatever oh. whatever it is th- that you have to get your shit off, do that. Because there's too much there's too much negativity in the planet, man. Pop so, your ish. There, there's too much negativity on the planet, man. For me, <laughs> I mean, Listen, I'm honest. Like th- those who know me, like I'm, I'm, I'm honest. This is how, this is how yeah. I am. Oh, no, I respect it, man. No, we respect it. That's no, what that's, it's about. So it just like, caught me off guard. Yes. That's all. And, 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 and a lot of them need, need, you know, need to experience baths. Yes, especially they need to, you know, take more baths because a that lot of them part. smell like smell like ass, especially at House of Glory events. Love going to them, but some of them smell like this man ass. was like, yo, this man was like, hey, we want to go. Was it me or was it you? No, like, yeah. It you asked me, me about GCW. I said, you're yeah, like, for the culture, I said, you was like, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, bro, them GCW fans, dog, I don't know. They be kind of on the on the smelly side. And you was like, this is true. You were like, nah, you nah, know. Nah, 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 some of them smell, dog. <laughs> like, 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 they be smelling like uh, modern depression eggs lax. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. no, no, they smell like ass. Especially when I saw when I saw that Matt Cardona match that one time, and I saw that crowd and how bunched up they were, I'm like, and then it's like, bro, you see nah. their shirt and it's just dangling, and you be like, yeah, that wasn't washed. No, you slept, you slept in that shit. I've slept mm-hmm. in my shirt before where I woke up because I sweat in my sleep. So mm-hmm. when I when I wake up like this, my shirt be like this, and I'm like, yo, no, nah, that's Go wash that, yeah. wash that, wash mm-hmm. that. Your phone gay ass nigga, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's a meme later. Grish <laughs> <laughs> keep killing himself. Hey, uh, yo, especially especially a lot, a lot of these people, man. You know, a lot of people they come from they from work too. Like not like using a moist towel, something, do like anything, anything yeah. to get that that raggedy ass stench out. I don't, yeah. and it's like I I try I try not to make that my gimmick, but y'all make it. <laughs> So easy because y'all smell so bad. Yeah, I, smell like I mean, it's like my boy said. You know what I'm saying? Moist toilet, like something, dog. Like even if something. you, I get that schedule sometimes make it a little hard. Where you just find something to stop and just kind of smell check and make sure you're somewhat fresh. Something, dog. Like at least no one's just... smell. No one smell boiled goose and raw onions. Like. <laughs> 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 oh no, bro! Boy, nah. goose and raw <laughs> onions. Bro, that ain't that ain't that ain't sexy to the ladies, dog. Don't do that to yourself. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. True, but it ain't sexy to me either. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts. Big facts. It's big facts. Like, like, the ladies like, be going like, through it, but I go through it too. We both I, on I, equal playing field. We both going through I, it. I, I, hygiene is important, especially on both sides, man. It's like yes. yo. 
Like you, you don't want to scare the hoes away, and you don't yeah. you know you don't want to scare some good niggas away, man. So it's like, and, yo, and, and you don't want to die. You don't want to die. Carry you. Cause on, too man. much funk, you you don't know your nostrils is screaming. <laughs> they, why are my nose running? Your nose is running because it's trying to expunge the funk. It needs help. It needs relief. That, well, you know how you get relief? You scrub. <laughs> you scrub. Come on. Man. I, don't, I don't have nothing to scrub, but you scrub, and you Come just on. you know Come you know on. it's bad when, when some of them smell worse than the hobos in on the subway. Bruh. Come on now. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, he no lies detected, bro. <laughs> it's like bruh. if if you can catch your whip from the moment they walk through the door, mm -hmm. then you know we got a problem, like, bro. <laughs> and it's sad too, cause you be sitting there thinking it's you for a second. You like, nigga, I know I showered today. Am I tripping? And then you like, nigga, that is not me, cause you like, man, my cologne, my lotion, everything. I'm straight. I got my. You doing your? You like, nigga, that, no, that ain't me. I know I did right. Hey, that's somebody in me. Like, hey, no, nah, bro, let me get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, but uh, now, nah, what's also funky is when y'all be trying to judge so quick. Why do they judge so much? Like, I'm trying to digest this because I feel like every, and it's always Mercedes. It's always Mercedes. True. I've noticed that. True. I'm like, I did what when she was in New Japan, when she first debuted, New when I tell you, they was like literally trickling down everything that she went that went wrong, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, it's it, she she just started. What what are we doing here? But then when I think back, they did the same thing when she was Sasha Banks, mm -hmm. and she's black. <laughs> I, I, I just answered my own question because it's like I try to get try to think every other way, but it's just like it's the same thing. It's like, bro, relax. Like, why do you put so much pressure on? Because if I'm if I'm wrong, I mean, if I'm if I'm if 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 my attention span, I'm all because I'm always high. I, I I'm I'm fresh off of my detox, so I'm not sober no more. You. You can see the praise they they be giving to these these brothers that be debuting. They be they be debuting on, on some hot pack of mid, but then when she do something where she's not rushing to give you like full throttle stuff, <laughs> then then it's like I don't know. Maybe y'all can explain that better than me because I because mm -hmm. I see it too much. Um. You know it's crazy because you know when me when when me and Jay Ty and um E when we have our show and we have these discussions we we kind of always break it down to terms of like yo we usually just keep it real in terms of like all right we know the fact that how she left WWE people still hold against her even though we all know it's not her fault mm -hmm. people still hold the fact that you know she had too big a head thing and she could make more than Charlotte even though despite the fact that Charlotte merited how much she made but at the same time sasha at the time did as well because she was just right behind her and mm -hmm. deserved as much as so so when becky kind of leapfrogged her in that she kind of felt slighted as well but at the same time it's almost like it's the business you know it, it's the business so she saw her value like mm -hmm. but doing what she did going to AEW. They're holding that against her because, oh, now you're going to just bite the hand that fed you and still go to that competition? No, she didn't see it that way because she mm -hmm. still has an opportunity to come back <laughs> later on. She she has the door still open. She has open channels. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of she's using this as a way for not just for herself, but for other women at that, at that level to basically set their price now. Because whatever price tag she's making in AEW, whether, whether it's undisclosed or not, it helps at least for the next woman that's coming up, like a Bianca, when her time is up, she mm -hmm. knows her number when she goes and resigns with the WWE. Mm -hmm. And if they don't meet that, she now knows her value to either cross over to Hollywood, which I know her and Montez oh, by themselves fact. will for be completely fact. fine. Oh, yeah. So it's like that crossover is so easy. But the fact mm -hmm. that where she's at right now, she's comfortable and she can do whatever she wants because of the fact that they know. She's and the fun thing about Bianca it's her name. <clears throat> the only thing that she won't say is Bianca Belair. It'll be just Bianca Blair. Mm -hmm. Facts, bro. And it's like with us specifically, man, like we naturally usually have that crossover appeal naturally anyway. You know what I'm saying? So our worth is definitely 
within yeah. the pudding half the time. You know what I'm saying? When you I, just look thought, at- I just thought maybe because I feel like, because I know why they, they hate on her, but it's just like, maybe I'm missing something, but it's like y'all are saying the exact same thing I'm seeing. It's like, mm-hmm. they it's, just... It's, 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 it's blind hate. And, and the fact that, you know, outside of color, it's just the fact that they feel like she's she's entitled because of the fact that she, Snoop Dogg is attached to her. She fit, they, but which is crazy because well, they feel enough, like she, she don't even use she don't she, even use, she, she, she don't she's even never it. even used his name to get into the door. She came through the basic the indie independent scene in Boston, which mm-hmm. matriculated going down to FC. We didn't find out that she was related to Snoop until, until like after, after she yeah. got put on until like mania, really. Yeah. Like she didn't really acknowledge it until literally until like she, they started talk running down her history during that triple threat. She mm-hmm. it was like, yeah, like she, she was like my cousin. But so, it's like if you're gonna use that, you people should basically attach the same thing to Charlotte. But at the same yeah. time, they're not because you know they know Charlotte is one. Even though she's attached to the flair name, she's also worked hard to separate from that. Oh, they still gonna find a reason to hate her too. But the, yeah, exactly. yeah. So so that's gonna be another you know. Same rule applies to Charlotte when you when we were talking about success, where it's like they feel mm-hmm. like they spoon fed it to you and you haven't earned it because you had the machine of the E. It's like okay, you have to prove yourself in Japan or or Mexico, which is not always true. Wrestling is a niche, you know, so people are gonna have their different, you know, flavors and what they like, but to those who know what they're doing across the culture that they're widely accepted regardless where they work at. That shows more in terms of where Mercedes is as a p- performer because of what she came from in WWE. And, mm-hmm. and at some point, the hate's got to die down. But hopefully, if she does set out and complete the mission that she sets out to do and basically raise the value for women, not just for herself, but to also help grow the company in AEW, especially the women's division, which is sorely lacking in star mm-hmm. power, she brings that and then some. So if she's able to like help her star- stardom, help grow a willow to make her bigger than what she's supposed to be because we all love us some willow. Thanks. Then you look at Athena and then you bring and, and then you magnify her and then you see other people and then you can you know magnify your blondes like a Britt Baker or you know whoever else you got under a Julia Hart or, or Chris Statlander and everybody else under. So but you having Mercedes is especially that star power, this gives Tony a second chance that he didn't get with Phil the first time around. Yeah, mm-hmm. and because of the nuances, because because men have egos, unfortunately, and of course, old beefs die hard. Hello, young bucks. So it's like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> so from that, from Mercedes, she's not going in with an agenda or an ego. She's going in basically with a with a CEO mindset, helping saying, okay, I can grow the women's business side of this, not just mm-hmm. in the ring, but also elsewhere because we all know thunder rosa is a beautiful woman you know in and outside the ring and she has other interests as well i think she has music and different types of art that she does outside the ring let's Mm -hmm. magnify that mercedes she's into music and of course she does acting so she's going to magnify that with her attachments you know in 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 hollywood Mm -hmm. you know this is a great way to basically showcase the women not just as ring characters but all in ring workers but also characters that, that people can sink their teeth into yeah and for Tony, like, it's right there. All you have to do is just not meddle with it or try to tinker with it. Allow it to naturally Or grow. try to forget it because he's good at forgetting people. <laughs> he oh, is. yeah. Real he good. Is. <clears throat> he's he good is. at yeah. people. Like, Wait, what happened to? What, what mm-hmm. happened to? And then I when it came, you're like, oh, you're like, oh, oh, you got to watch them on Ring of Honor. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How's Probably that going to happen? But cool, <laughs> yeah. That's why he needs another adult. <laughs> no facts, yeah, man. Cause we can go down the list, boy. When we talk about that one, boy, he, 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 he's like Remy Bucks of plenty from the Philly Odd Parents with all these great things to play with, but not knowing exactly how to manage any of it. Oh boy, <laughs> come on now, come on. Nah, that's facts, bro. Yeah, facts. this is this is facts. Uh, before before we move on from uh from Mercedes, because we, we basically talked about who I want y'all to list five people on the on the roster it could be ring of honor and AEW because they're practically the same thing that you want to see i'm gonna start i got athena obviously okay. red velvet okay. diana perrazzo okay. y'all might hate this one Britt baker it is bound to happen but okay. i'm interested in how it's like a eh, but i'm interested to see how they do it you got okay. the whole CEO versus the DMD thing. 
And no, that's obviously, end game, obviously. Yeah, and then <laughs> obviously I gotta I, I gotta see her with a queen. I'm a nada at least once. Okay. At least once. All right. So that. I can give you a bonus one when she's cleared though. Jamie Hader. Only when she's cleared though, because I don't know when she's coming back. Mercedes I like, versus Jamie. I, 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 I like that move. I, I, ah. I, 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 I feel the mana. Feel the mana. You know what I'm the mana. The mana is Ooh. strong. Goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, boy, this, 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 how, this, this is how it feels. This is how it hey. feels, boy. <laughs> no, when I actually said that, I actually did get some chills, though. So, so I'm yeah. like, yo. No, no. Her, her and Queen Amanita, that's going to be dope. Bro. Um, trying especially, to, see, trying especially, to... especially seeing her in person. She's she's dope. Um, yes. Yes. Damn. That's, that's a dope-ass match. Her, her and <laughs> Athena, of course. It's been a minute since I've seen Red Velvet on AEW TV because I know, like, I'm not. She's been cooking in ROH, but that's about. Uh, listen, yeah. I, listen, I got my links to to watch ROH, but I'm not paying for Honor Club. Don't blame me, brother. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, all <good. laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I like, just sent him the. I just like, sent him the login information. You good? <laughs> like, I'm not, listen, my my links ain't, ain't never failed me. My VPNs are working. You know, did, listen. You know, and listen, I'm, VPNs I'm are ch- not of the devil. They're not illegal. I They're just get illegal. discounts when I watch pay per views because some of them cars do not be hitting. I just watch for free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you and me both, bro. I try to support when I can, but fifty dollars is a little much. It, in my the only, day, the last saying. time I paid for fifty dollars was was Sting's retirement, and that was only because right. of Sting. But before that, the last, the last thing I paid at fifty four was gas. Right. <laughs> Now, me and Gresh is always down to go the half and half route if it's worthy enough. You know what I'm saying? Because that was always the thing, too. You know, like, mm-hmm. hey, Gresh, you want to go half on this joint and then we just do that mm-hmm. if it's worth it. If it's worth it. Like, sometimes I'll be like, <laughs> this ain't worth it. Like, nah. like, wor- like, I ain't going to hold you. World's End was some, was some two pack of ass. I'm glad I ain't pay for it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> You better say that again, brother. <laughs> Yo, who, 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 you you listed three. Who you who, who's the other two you got? <laughs> oh man, um, ooh, Akarashita. Ooh, yeah. okay, okay. And they they kind of teased it, so give me Rio. Okay, okay. Yeah, because because put... because you know she's gonna get her Japanese fix. <laughs> You saw she that was the first person she interacted with <laughs> when she when she when she announced the paper the main event. She was like, Riho sign. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you you know you gotta get your Japanese fixing and I respect it. I respect it. Um I obviously didn't put Willow in it because I already know that's they're literally building to that. That's literally gonna be her first match at some point. If not her, it'll probably be uh Chris. Chris that that'll be a good match. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Holly? Oh boy! All right, so I guess I'm gonna go a route that air that may be unpopular, I guess, or or Uh-oh. you know, no, kind of. I don't know. So I'm gonna start with my number one <clears throat> for obvious reasons. Whether they y'all say it's a good idea to retackle this or not, story is there and it's worth telling. Oh no, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna list Raya in my <laughs> my number one. Hey, I'm telling you, listen, it just it just makes sense, brother. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. It makes sense. Give me Soraya. I'm just saying, why not? What the heck? You know what I'm saying? They're not doing nothing else with her anyway. Might as well throw her in there. You know what I'm saying? Nice little warm-up. <laughs> Tell the story. Uh okay. So then next up, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> I'm gonna go here Hogan for obvious reasons too. Why okay. not? Kiara oh, yeah. Hogan, Kiara oh, Hogan. Okay. yeah. No, not one because the match was slapped, yes, but two because don't think I forgot about that. Uh, the rest of the world didn't forget about that mess she was talking. Oh, you're talking Kasha. about that live stream? That yeah, up, that that, up, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want crazy. them to bring all that up in the promos. I, I, want, I want all of that. Oh, you could, that. <laughs> you cooking with bacon fat over here. Look at yeah. <laughs> bacon fat and grease, my boy. Listen, oh. listen, but it'll, it'll cook though. You know what I'm saying? You'll be like, all right, let's go. I'm invested. Um, obviously the DMD route, because, you know, like you said, I mean, it's just, it's there. It makes it's sense. Obviously. They, they, they um, do it. You know, they would do that. Give me Nyla Rose. 100%. Nah. You know what I'm nah. saying? Cause we know how funny Nyla Rose is, bro. So you yeah. already know, like the beast versus the CEO, man. Like, oh, bro, that's a 
bro, that'd be crazy. It's and so then, many possibilities, man. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And then I'm gonna just throw my girl Red Velvet in there too, like you said, because I mean, it's you know, Velvet's like the underrated one in terms of uh i felt like i always felt like they were kind of similar in different ways mm -hmm. um so i feel like she can bring out something in red velvet even deeper like you know what i'm saying even if it turns into one of those things where like they join forces later kind of thing yeah. you know what i'm saying from this feud uh but the honorable mention definitely is jamie hater because jamie hater would be would slap when she's cleared that would you know what yes. i'm saying i'm like she want that hard hitting jamie hater will literally punch you in the jaw and, and she will take it and literally no sell. Just it. we just gotta make sure when she does, we gotta make sure to put you know Mercedes in some bubble wrap because you know I, <laughs> yeah, last she'll thing pull, I want is she'll fold her. Nah, she no nah, she she yeah she she gonna break she gonna break her job. Like, yeah, she's gonna fold <laughs> she gonna fold her up like an accordion. Yeah, it's gonna be it's a it's a wrap for the CEO. That, last on on Mercedes that theme song. Still not getting it. Still not feeling it. <laughs> still not feeling it. I gave it a week. I gave it a week. I've played it like four times. I'm still not. Mm -mm. You know, I actually finally heard the rapping side of that, brother. My jaw, you should have saw the line of how much it dropped from the moment I, I, I heard the first. <laughs> I, I, as a rapper now, keep in mind, I'm sitting here. I'm like, hmm, I love this woman so much, but this, this, this is not it. <laughs> I was like, um, I need to be on your writing team, your flow team, your I need to, to coach you, girl, because that that ain't that ain't the one. Get whoever coached you out of there, because that ain't it. And, and I feel bad for that engineer, because if you if that engineer made you think that was it, absolutely not. Fire him too. This may this may not make sense. Does does it seem like she's trying to rap to the beat and not her own flow? If that makes sense, because I've I've been in the studio so many times where I heard someone say they say what a, a rapper messes up is they try to rap to the beat and they miss the message as opposed to trying to create their own flow. That would mean she had to hit the beat in the first place. I could disagree with that. Yeah, I was about to say I can disagree with that. No, that's what I'm saying. I, like that's all I'm trying to bring that up, Mike, because I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't hit. Because when she raps, the message that she mm -hmm. I, I actually read the lyrics. Mm -hmm. Good message, but the delivery is just like, just stick with the graps. See, yeah, in her, <laughs> see, in her case, in her case, I would say what it is is going to the flow side of things. I think it's just when you've never done something before. If this is a lane she's trying to tap, this more is the second dropping. song. Remember, she did the money rap version, but she never released it. That's right. They never released it. But they is there actual it. evidence of what her flow sounded like on it? She sound she. If you, I think it was one of the, the her last stardom title defenses before she lost it to, or it was it was the one where she lost it to uh, Miyu, me Mayu. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Iwatani. She, it was I forgot which one it was, but mm -hmm. she was. It was if you listen to the actual uh, entrance, she was actually rapping to it. It's like uh, what's on the back? You ready for that? And then that, then like I don't know what the lyrics was, but you could tell she okay. was trying to rap to the beat, and Say it less. just didn't work. <laughs> let, me, let me let me let me let me let me sprinkle this as the rapper in the room, Dan. Let me tell you this: usually, when you're brand new at something like that, so if that's mm -hmm. if that's song number one, this would be song number two. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many more this woman has in her, uh, uh, you know. Discography like right now. About, she said single like she about to drop a whole album. So hey, hey, she did ready. say that, right? So <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? There's always room for improvement because every oh, rapper's sure. got to start from somewhere. So if there's any inkling that unless you, unless maybe, you, like me, you just quit. Uh, well, you know, yeah, yeah that, I'm fuck that. I, I'm not I, a rapper. I'm gonna I'm 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 say it like, look, you know what? The girl got dreams and ambitions, you know. She's doing the thing and the acting. Maybe she wanted to tip her hat in the music just Listen, to see, you know. She's related to Snoop. Exactly. Just, just now, continue. Now, just continue to reach out to your cousin. That to ask yes, him for help. I, I recommend that more than anything. You, you, you definitely got to get with Snoop. Somebody see, from Snoop's team, Death Row, anybody. Get like, with Dre. Like I saw some. Like when I said I, I was having trouble, I saw someone say, "They like, oh well, you can't be a CEO. I guess you can't be a CEO then because you." you you just always a worker. I said, bro, you you don't realize how little that makes sense because I'm a CEO what? right now, and I don't like that shit. I don't give a damn. Huh? This the? I'm the CEO of this. I'm the CEO of this. I'm the CEO of everything that you see around here. 
I don't need to like a song just to be a CEO. Because let's be real, a lot of the normal CEOs don't even have rhythm. So let's start there. <laughs> Man. Man. Like, 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 bro, just say it. It's okay to... I don't like the song. Like, you ain't got to just say I'm, I'm always going to be a worker. I'm like, bro, do you think CEOs don't work? You know, it's just funny when people try to spit a bar that makes absolutely no, no sense. sense. And, you, and you standing on it like you thought that was the hardest bar in the freaking world. My guy. Like they just be talking. Like, mm-hmm. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. That ain't even that ain't even an inkling of what that could have been, bro. I, I looked at it. I looked at that reply. I muted the reply. I muted the account because I almost blocked it because it was so stupid. <laughs> and then I just <laughs> muted the whole conversation because I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to see this in my notifications no more because y'all, uh... y'all are. <laughs> It it, it 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 pretty much exited my target demographic to where people know that I'm actually in the industry and I can get into an engineer and make your favorite artist sound great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I'm like, once I start seeing people with pictures that aren't theirs, I'm like, yeah, this is Stan territory. Let me go ahead and mute this. Y'all talk to the void. <laughs> y'all are, yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing that. But yeah, I'm just... <sighs> The C- mm-hmm. Listen, I'll say something positive. The CEO part is catchy. Yeah. For but sure. But then when the beat drop, I'll be like... <sighs> y'all, really, y'all really have to use Symphony 9, though? Yeah, I didn't understand that either, bro. Um, dun, 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 I thought they was going to change it up. But it was like, no, nah, we're going we're gonna to actually add a beat to the symphony. I'm like, there's a reason why certain songs don't have beat. I don't have 808s. There's a there's a there's a perfect reason. Some songs just don't need 808s. This this is also true. At, at least they tried, unlike Death Rebel. Yeah, yeah this is true. This is yeah, this this is true. This is true. <laughs> Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. This is true. On the this next exciting true. episode of Can You Find a Good Entrance? This is true. This is true. That is a nice way to end this entire se- this entire portion of the segment. This is a way. Th- this is a good way. This is true. At least they're trying because Death yeah, Rebel. Man. I don't know who said it, but Death Rebel is like the, they're like the uh, Sonic of food. You know the Sonic restaurant that nobody really eats. Someone they was like they're the they're the Sonic of 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 music. Oh, they're man. they're no you go when it's convenient, but you don't go because that's because you. you that's literally it. There, if I had to g- get real disrespectful. You know how you got McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. They're the they're the four for four. They're there when you're convenient, but it ain't that good. Mm, yeah. yeah, they're 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 your four for four. They're it's convenient for them. Like like they like, we're just gonna put it all out in a bundle. How would you describe Death Rebel? I think that says enough for what you need to know right there. <laughs> That's how you describe Death Rebel, my friend. Right there. <laughs> I rest my case. Exhibit A. Thank you. Good night. It's like Roman is their only good song. And, and, and Lashley, because they did Lashley's too, right? This iteration of Lashley's? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. That. Everything, everything is Death Rebels except for Becky, Bianca, Street Profits, and I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Rock, obviously. Yeah, they didn't mess that up a little bit. No, nah, they tweet. They just the only thing they did was the transition, which is horrible. Mm. Yeah, it was. It, it, was, it, was, it, it was, was. It was. It was effort. It was effort. Mm-hmm. C for effort. C for effort, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the lightning effects cool, you know what I'm saying? It's cooking. Yeah, see? At least they didn't touch the main songs, put it that way. Jim Johnson at home. Jim Johnson did the opening and Jim Johnson did the second song, but he didn't do the transition. 
He somewhere at home was like, how the fuck did you butcher my classic like that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that old man is going. I might as well kiss the ring. That man, that man ain't gonna, he gonna come out of retirement like, you son of a... He's like, oh, all right. Nah. He's gonna be like, all right, I've had enough of this. Let, <laughs> let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's, let's like, start from it's scratch. Like, it's, like, it's like, I gotta teach you how to engineer, God damn it. Cause like, <laughs> and like, then when I saw the picture of Death Row, I'm like, oh, he's white. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not even this is not even just a stereotypical type. Oh, he's white. It's more so like he's literally wearing a suit. He does commercial. I think he does uh commercials or something. He sounds he's he looks like he makes the music for when you're going to buy a car. That background music, the st- the, the the gimmick music that's just literally just n- looping and it's terrible that you just read it. It's worse than elevator music. That's mm. what he looked like he made. So it makes sense. It, it makes sense. That is. At, at, at another crime for Vince McMahon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we, how long is that contract? Please expire it. So get on Please to expire <laughs> and go hire J- Josiah Williams back, motherfucker. So you can, yes, he can be, yes. he can be, he can be oh, like, like, please what? do. Please. They should but never hire this man too. Like at this point, mm-hmm. like hire everybody black. Well, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Scratch that. Hire everybody black that's good. And then, yeah, let's go from there. Because it's, very full. I I had to re, I had to reel myself in like hold on, wait a minute. Everybody black ain't good. Let's just be real. Uh, speaking of being good, have y'all peeped Becky Lynch's book? It just dropped today. Uh, I've the only thing I've seen is on PR from those wrestling girls. I know she bought the book. I'm not sure like how the book is yet, but I've actually hey, it's actually pretty pretty good so far. Like I've 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 obviously. I'm still waiting on the book, the actual book. So I, they got the audio version on uh, Spotify. Okay, and yeah, she, I was and she's say. and she's actually reading it. And I'm like, the way Becky is with her cadence, I can respect because I'm like, okay, now nah, that was funny. Like, certain, like she was like, she was saying stuff like she was the the annoying little sister, and uh, with her brother because she was like she didn't she didn't she fell out of love with wrestling when she got older. Then the attitude era reeled her back in with Mick Foley and all this stuff. She was telling all that type of story. And I'm like, yo, this is actually pretty good. I think I'm on chapter 18 out of one, two, three. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> out of 67. So yeah, it's 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 actually a pretty good listen. Like if you actually listen to it. But yeah, it's 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 pretty worth to check out if you haven't already. Ah, uh, sis, you're gonna make me check it out now, man. I'm definitely gonna have to get that audio book tonight. Her learn it's on Spotify. Like if you go on Spotify and, and you got like if you got the subscription, like the, it's like the premium subscription, it's actually pretty good to listen to. And it's like you can tell and you can tell she's having fun with it. She obviously tribute it, it was a tribute to her family and, and pretty much everybody she came up with, but it was actually a pretty Pretty good listen if you if 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 that's something you want to be into, so okay. yeah. But uh, I just had to bring that up. Uh, also, you got oh, this one gonna be heavy. Bray Wyatt. We didn't talk about it last week, but Bray Wyatt becoming immortal. His documentary is gonna be dropping next week. Actually, mm-hmm. that's gonna be rough, boy. Because I got that man's plaque back here. From when he won the WWE title mm-hmm. and when he returned at Elimination Chamber. So that's going to be, as you can see, I, 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 your brother is a fan of this man, William Mortando. But man, this it's going to be a heavy, we'll, we'll likely talk about it when it, uh, when it drops, probably in Philly, because next week's episode will be tape delay. So it won't be live, live. Uh, man. Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna check that out. Like Bray Wyatt, man, that's heavy, man. That's a heavy one because it's like he was ahead of his time. And, it, and honestly, I feel like if he if he were still here and actually under Triple H, and they actually had he had actually enough time because I feel like what they was going with it was going to go further. If he had enough time, if he had a full year with Triple H. That man will be literally on top right now because he was, co- you could tell he was cooking up something. We, and he was basically testing. He's like, y'all got to be patient. Y'all got to be patient. Mm-hmm. 
And then they show, I think they showed a a, a clip of a, a picture of when he was going to eventually become the fiend again. And I'm like, yo, that would have been Damn. that would have been sick. I, I wish I had I thought of, to download the picture, but the picture I was like, bro, this is it was like a combination of his fiend, but then when he was burnt, and then you already know he's gonna have certain type of contacts that kind of make it pop. I'm like, oh my god, this this would have been crazy. Man, it it sucks because it's like <clears throat> last time I seen him in person, well, first time first and last time I seen him in person was at the garden for the holiday mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. And they were testing the Mountain Dews match with LA Knight and he was facing LA Knight at the garden and they, and they tore it up and the crowd went crazy and he felt that love that night because it just felt organic like it's something about the garden you know in WWE but with them house shows man it, it, he just he, he he felt the love that night and then when he and then when like I found out and the crazy thing is I found out when I was driving and I was like, yo, like my brother and my brother texted me, he's like, yo, this that happened. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm sitting here looking while I almost swerved off the road. I had to stop. Thank God there was a red light. Mm-hmm. I had to look and literally see like Triple H posted. It I was like, and the All last right. time I and the last time I felt like that prior was Kobe. And I found out the same way <clears> while <throat> driving. Yep, me too, bro. It's crazy you brought that up because I was just Me about too. To say I was I was literally in the car with my mom and I was like, yo, Ma, Kobe died. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, Who? What? Huh? Yeah, like yeah. It, it didn't feel real. But see, it's like it's it's a crazy comparison between the two because you say the same thing about a guy like Kobe that you would say about Bray Wyatt, you know, that like so what would life have been like right now? Like we saw in Kobe's case, like this man was literally winning awards post basketball, and it was like so much more he was destined to do. And you see Bray Wyatt, just like how uh, Gresh was saying, like in a year's time, what would it be like right now? If we just right now in this, in this time where it's like wrestling's hotter than it's ever been right now, what would life be like, especially with the production changes and the things we're seeing, like just imagine Bray being a part of that. Like, man, I hate that. The main event scene for WrestleMania looks a lot different. I oh, for sure. You. Oh, agreed. Highly. Him and Cody's reaction alone would have been crazy, bro. Like, 110, like, the, that main event scene would have been different. Roman would have been spooked. And that's a crazy thing, because that's one person that I, you know, I don't, I, and I don't want one in terms of for Roman, because him and Roman had this kindred spirit about each other mm-hmm. when they when they were rivals. Mm-hmm. Both both are sons of like now Hall of Famers in, in, in IRS and and um but but you know both come from a certain lineage in terms of you know that old school WWF days and then finding themselves on the main roster themselves when Roman was breaking out as the face at the time and and Bray was just we all knew like if he didn't have certain restrictions he would he would tear the roof off mm-hmm. but they still had that chemistry and but I'm still curious to kind of still hear like what Roman thoughts are that, you know, he's no longer here and, and, and the, and the time that they shared, like that kind of story would be kind of interesting to hear. You know, I'm, I'm sure he may not be comfortable to say it or talk about it, which is cool, but from like, a curiosity, yeah, we're not forcing, yeah, we're yeah, not we're for, not forcing no, no, I will never force a tribal chief to do anything he doesn't want to do, but <laughs> But 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 it but it's more so in terms of a curiosity in terms of like like what would be going through your mind because like out of any other opponent like he helped make Roman or people digest to face Roman a little better than anyone but you given. Roman anyone but you so he he he, get, he gave us he he basically basically you know invest in Roman a little more and I don't think we get that without Bray Roman story. Up until the tribal chief doesn't happen without Bray, so you know a lot of his career is indebted to him in, in, in a sense. So to, to to hear his thoughts, you know, you know, would be kind of interesting. But again, you know, he wouldn't have to share that with the world. I think it's just between the two of them and and, and, and kindred spirits, like I said before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm. It's gonna be a heavy watch to to finally see that. And honestly, it's like. 
And I know a lot of people wanted him in the Hall of Fame this year, but I feel like that's good. That he should be a headline. He shouldn't be a Hall of Fame induction. He should be the guy because I feel like Paul Heyman is the is the headline this year. So it's like mm-hmm. it wouldn't. It's like and they're in Philly. So next year, if they don't get he who shall not be named um, to headline in his home state, it should definitely headline with with Bray going in, getting the full throttle uh, induction. And it's like, it'll never sit right with me because as a fan of Bray, because it's like all my frustrations was always the booking, the booking, the booking, like never the talent, never the, the, the art, but it's just like the booking, the booking. And then it's like when he, right when he finally got under somebody who, who so far, especially now, is understanding certain elements of production and and actually booking, he's no longer here to reap the rewards, and it's like this will be this will be rough. But uh, hey, man, uh, to 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 move forward on to well, basically to try to catch up further with what we went down last week before we get to what happened this week. Let's t- talk a little bit, tap into a little bit about SmackDown. Does uh, the rematch between Dom and Ray interest anybody? Because I've been seeing that talked about a lot. I think this is the retirement match. You think that's going to... Why, why so quick? Hmm. I mean, we all know Ray wants to retire when he's 50. I'm not sure if he's going to like get there. And he just came back from another major injury. So it's like, all right, oh, yeah, I, can rest, I, I can wrestle this next stretch. But if I get hurt again right before 50, that's it. Yeah, and it, and, the, and the match itself was I ain't gonna lie to you, it was kind of it was kind of boring. Yeah, him and Santos. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> then that's what made them go ahead and pull the trigger to just do it now. Yeah, so because yeah. I was so curious when I saw it, I was just like, huh. But him with uh, Santos and them is an interesting situation i was like even though he's a part of a stable already it would have made sense this is this is more so because the rule the stipulation was no one from lwo or legato can interfere Mm -hmm. he's not he's not a part of either and he still hates his father (laughs) that's true that's true so so that's the only that's the reason why that happened like a lot of people's like that don't make sense i'm like no it makes sense he 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 hate that man his father What would uh what would Dom put on the line if if Ray puts his career on the line? His place in uh I don't know. That's what I was just wondering. Judgment I'm like, eh? well, judgment, judgment day on the line. His hair. Yeah, some people were saying that like hair versus career. I think Ray, I, I think Ray actually said that he was like, if I I put my career on the line for for, for in order for Dom to cut his hair. Ooh. So yeah. That will be sick. And I feel like this probably wouldn't have been feeling as rushed if Ray didn't get hurt. Yeah. Not a fact. They probably would have been building to this a lot slower. But they could they could have done it at SummerSlam. You don't have to do it at Mania. Yeah. That's also true. Like we don't need every it won't you don't need everybody on Mania, even though it's two nights, we still don't need everybody on. <laughs> yeah, like, like you, like you don't need that at me. I mean, you could, you could tease it, but you don't really need it. Yeah, nah, that's fact. Right. That's fact. Right. I was listening to some media people talk about. Uh, everybody talks about like who's this next, you know, Latin superstar to replace Rey Mysterio. As we know, over the years, they've many have tried, many have failed. Like uh, Mr. Dell, <clears throat> now we're gonna say the rest of that. You know, uh, Santos. They say don't have the charisma. Dom has the look, but they're like he doesn't have the in ring ability. Santos doesn't have a charisma. Dragon so Lee is Dragon so Lee apparently. Now? So we're lying now. <laughs> I'm going off outside ears. You know what I'm saying? This ain't my opinion. The opinion. outside ears are tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's so what I, said. I was like, I, I don't believe that. I think he has plenty of charisma. Right? I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, so we're lying. I mean, that's what that's what that's, you're telling me. It's like, okay, that, that's what same. you believe. They must have the same taste as Def Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, they, they were white. So, yeah, to be fair, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's all, you should have started with that. I would have told you their, their opinion does not matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 you should have started with that, man. But uh, I, I, whatever they do, I'm intrigued. Uh, the match itself, it's like I'm sold on it because I, I enjoyed their match last year. Like, So I'm not like finna say, oh, my God, we're doing this again. I'm not finna act like 
Dom versus Ray wasn't good last year. Mm-hmm. Especially the entrances, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm. Uh, Bianca and, Na- and Naomi in damage control. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, yeah. Where, where you see them going with this? Tag titles on the line, but <laughs> um, we said it on our show earlier this week because we was kind of like pre-booking mania or not like pre-giving our predictions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it is Oscar is zero and six at WrestleMania. So like, if they do a tag team match with the Kabuki Warriors between uh, you know Naomi and Bianca for the tag titles. That would mean Oscar would be 0 and 7. He's like, nah, fuck, I'm not trying to have that. But we did fantasy book an idea. Like, all right, what if, like, since Bianca, to be honest, her her, her actions are justified in terms of like being skeptical of, you know, Naomi's allegiance with Bailey. I, mm-hmm. I get that they're friends because of, you know, Mercedes and and, and that's playing out on screen. But it's like because of the damage control situation, Bianca ain't letting that go. And seems like, oh, like, yo, like, you see what they did to me when you was going da 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 da, but you're gonna slide with her? Nah, screw all that. So, if they lose, this kind of leads to like a little bit of a tweak for Bianca and stuff like that, you know, like a little like what like a what if scenario, so to speak, because with that SmackDown women's roster, they're loaded, like a little too loaded. So, <laughs> like. Yeah. It, like it's, yeah. it's, it's almost to a point where like Raw got to fight back at this point because Adam Pierce, I don't know how you let Nick Aldis just slide in in less than half a year's time and basically take all the good talent for himself. If if Carmelo <laughs> Hayes gets called up and he goes to SmackDown, Adam, you cook, bro. Because <laughs> at this point, it's like bro, you know. got everybody interesting on Smack. Not saying Smackdown. nobody interesting. And then Athermania though. Cody wins, he's going to SmackDown. SmackDown. <laughs> so it's so like, it's like you, you gotta fight back. Oh back. God, Lee. Yeah, that's <laughs> but see, no, here's here's what's even more wild though, because everybody claims and I mean at the end of the day, Raw's the one going to Netflix. And that's supposedly making Raw the flagship show automatically because they'll be on Netflix. So it's like you gotta start building stars over here at some point, man. Or you gotta start bringing people over. If 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 Adam, I need you to sign Dragon off if he drops the title this weekend, next weekend. I need you to sign um, Lyra Valkyria. Di- hell, it, 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 whoever Roxanne. doesn't win, whoever doesn't win the NXT Women's title, like whoever doesn't Roxanne. win, sign them. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne or Lyra, uh, Dragon off or t- the whole dang because he showed sure lost Braun Breaker too. Dang, yeah, Braun Breaker's on SmackDown. on SmackDown. It was like, bro, you losing? Fight back, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there was only one acquisition he got, and I forgot who that was already. Because I was just like, "Dang, damn!" Who? They were fighting over somebody, and he ended up getting one. He he got one win, but it was like I forgot who that was. <laughs> and was, I'm it, like, what, was it really a win though? If you don't remember, who the hell was yeah, it? That's, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> damn, who the fuck? It was somebody, bro, and it's gonna it's gonna make me mad when I'm like. WWE.com. We're gonna find out right now because I'm trying to figure out who are you talking about. Thank God Trick ain't up for up for you know coming up to Raw SmackDown yet. Cause like listen, you don't want him and Mel on the same. Was show. it Andrade? Yeah, I think it was, it was Andrade. That's exactly who it was. Oh, of course. He ain't really doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, because they wanted to be part of judgment then. Yeah, they saving they saving him. You're gonna see him fast forward after Mania more than likely. But yeah, true. But that's that's pretty much it. That's the only person that he, he yeah, saw. It's like SmackDown's to, loaded, bro. Like the for the, from the women's roster. Like, yo, to be fair, lessons, like yo, I'm just gonna watch SmackDown. To be fair, when Charlotte comes back like the freaking machine she seems to be right probably, about now, gonna move her to Raw. she'll be on Raw, no doubt about it. Wherever her, he her, is. With her husband, yeah. Mm-hmm, she'll be there. Now, it's not but, enough, but, you know. But then again, we can't say that because Tiffany Stratton ain't with her boyfriend, so. Mm, it's whatever they I, want. Nah, I can't explain that one. I don't know why the heck they, that still was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. They want it on SmackDown. All right, cool. But uh, speaking of that roster, though, a storm is coming. <laughs> Jay Cargill, which is mean, which means why Adam Pierce, you need to fight back because you, <laughs> sir. Good God, sir, <laughs> sir. Good God, how am I, bruh, bruh? 
That's <laughs> all I do, bro. Good Lord have mercy. You got oh, the, the Lord, my shepherd, he know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Ms. tell me. Miss Cargill? Miss Cargill. Miss Cargill. I really get a strange feeling that they are going to send Tiffany over to Raw somehow. I don't know how, but they probably are. But then it would lead the question of why the hell is she over there on SmackDown in the first place? I don't know, bro. But I mean, again, because even Naomi, they lost that one. And she's over yeah, there that's with another her person who got signed. That's another person who got signed to SmackDown. I'm like, bro, you loaded, Adam loaded. Pierce, what what are you doing? Fight you out back. here announcing, you out here on Twitter announcing uh Andrade versus Ibar. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> like Nick, nigga, nigga. Unless you convince Big E to come back out of retirement and, and come back to Monday Night Raw, which which would be great, it would be great. It will it it will be a, a, it will be a bright spot and better put him in the main event. That's all I'm gonna say. Immediately, 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 immediately. Because if you don't, I gotta cut you. <laughs> but Jay Cargill on SmackDown, like what the poss- Like that's another match. People people been talking about this six man six woman tag. That her and her her Bianca Naomi versus Demi Control. And I'm trying to tell you this right now. If you want Oscar's winning streak to improve, <laughs> you better get ready for 0 7 because they not about to have this woman lose on her nah, debut. No, nah, no, nah, nah. bump that, bump that. Not even that. They not about to have three black women lose at that. Three? Three. No, nah, no, nah, 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 three of their OP. It oh OP women. Because let's be real, Naomi has been that's, that's Naomi has been right a little there. OP too. They've mm. been protecting her, so it's like they not often like some, damage control about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dream, dream team right there. And then and then we right back where we started with damage control. If that's the case, because then it'll just be like, oh well, it's curtains. It's <laughs> curtains on that because uh, it's curtains it, because if they put the title on on Bailey. Yeah, but look. Mm, and, <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, boy! <laughs> See, we got Damn. the power. No, you don't. It's a wrap. <laughs> Lights out. Thank you for coming. <laughs> well, man, Jay Cargill coming. I'm intrigued. Uh, she's always a pleasure to see on on my telly, on my television screen. Uh, what she does is always going to be a topic of discussion because people have their opinions, whether it matters or not, but they have their opinions. So, blah, 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 blah. But hey, the storm is coming and I am here for it. And speaking of storms, that main event, before we talk about Raw, what went down on Raw, let's talk about that face off. With Roman and Cody, was it a dud? Because to me, it was a big ass dud. Like I was like, "Bro, what are we doing here?" This didn't move me because because I, I remember when it was happening. A lot of I put on Twitter. I said, "This is doing the exact opposite of what I what I asked for," but I get it. And people was like, "What you wanted in the bra?" I was like, "Bro, I understand. you probably don't watch my show, so let me put you up on game." I said, "I am intrigued." By both matches, but I am more excited about the main event of night one than I am of night two. And all they had to do was get me invested on this on night two. But y'all had a face to face, and I was talking about respect this, respect that. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 like man, Roman Roman calling him an idiot, and I'm like, man, okay, Roman, that's all you got. He's you got the rock right out now. here. He's you got the right. rock out here talking about this man's dog, and calling his mama this and that. There, you talking about? I think you're an idiot. You're not ready for this, and I'm like, nigga, didn't you say that last year? Mm-hmm. Did, no, I mean, to be did, fair, the the, did, the politician did, stuff was kind of cool. That was cool. Because I, I was I like, well, no, nah, he, he ain't lying. Like, he do sound like a politician. He do know how to flip it. He look like a po- he he flips it like a politician pastor. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. He, he's, mm-hmm. a, he's a Kennedy. 
Yeah, he's a he, he's a Kennedy. <laughs> he might want to watch his back. He don't want to get assassinated. Come uh, on, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I'm I'm like, oh my god, this is. And then on Monday, when we get to Raw in a few few seconds, Roman who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Who's having the match now? Is it is it Rock versus Roman or is it really Rock? I literally put out a tweet. I was like, bro, it sounds like it's it's like it's like we're building to Rock versus Cody than it is <laughs> Roman. I, and I I put out a tweet. I was like, bro, that should have been Roman delivering that message. Talk about overshadowing, boy. Good lord. Like and the and, and it's like, but yeah, the and but the, this closing shot with. The bloodline and Seth and Jay and Cody, it was cool. The story they was trying to tell was like Cody uh, is up on game with Roman's um, with how he play. You you say that you're gonna be alone, but you're gonna lie to me. So he's like, I got back up. I get that, but and this might be by design. I I could be overthinking. It could be by design. It could be where they're making it where Roman is going to be paranoid. With Rock, and that's where you need Roman, because for many years, like for, for many years, like since Roman like became champ, we always like on this on our show we always book or talk about like yo Roman has to be like that psychotic tribal chief or, or twenty like, twenty Roman par- like twenty twenty mm-hmm. Roman, but with with more paranoia where like he's he's unkempt, like his hair's all out of place, his his beard is all grown out, and he's like. He, he don't trust nobody. Like the slightest, like let's say Jimmy does his most slightest dumb shit, and he just get, he just snaps at him. Like instead of like just snapping at him, he's he's just like us whooping his ass. Cause like yo, the, uh, so the, the I mean, Cody, uh, like, would that? So that means he has to lose. He has to lose, and then when he and when he loses, you bring that side out, and then like, it's your fault, Rock. I'm supposed to be the tribal chief. The elders didn't send you. I am the elders. <laughs> and, and, right? And, and, and Rock's going to be like, you're the tribal chief, but the ancestors put me as the high chief. And that just gets Roman even more mad. Like, yo. And that builds to their... their and that, that built. And that builds to WrestleMania. So Makes that sense. could be... Now that you put that, now that the, the ass whooping on Monday makes sense. Mm-hmm. It makes yeah, I mean, a lot of sense now because it's like, because that's I'm like, bro, I'm more intrigued on because Rock is so obsessed with Cody not being champion mm-hmm. that is inadvertently overshadowing Roman. Not to mention, if you go back to what was that when Jimmy did. His thing to set up Jay and Jimmy down the line when he calls Jay the icy title match, and we go back to that SmackDown where he's like, "Who sent you?" And he's like, "Oh, oh, well, no, Haven, Haven sent me." It's almost like he wanted to say the Rock or something, maybe even. like trying to find somebody. He's like, "Haven," he's like, "Nah, I sent you. I did that, right?" It was almost like him trying to remind himself of like who's in charge for a second. But it's like since then, kind of still getting overshadowed by the Rock, the final boss. Hey, and yeah. that's another thing, final boss. Nigga, ain't ain't final boss like older, higher than tribal chief? Like when you say final boss, you like the, the high chief. I am the be- final boss. Like Roman is a boss, but I'm the final mm-hmm. boss. That's why that was so unconvincing when he was like, Roman Reigns, I acknowledge you as the tribal chief. Mm. Why? Why, why, why else would Roman be this, like, this "I all, need you"? This you know, all by des- this is all by design because it's like, because think about it is, in, 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 to be honest, Rock in his village is legit the high chief of his village. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it it, play, it plays into it plays into family struggle. It's a family power struggle. That was a story that they were trying to tell for years. And Rome and Rock even said in, in 2020 during the pandemic, he'll he'll do the job to Roman like if the story is right and then the world opened back up and then you know he released Black Adam which should have never happened <laughs> and, and and then what happened on Monday had he acted like that as Black Adam maybe it wouldn't have tanked at the at the, at the box office but that's either here nor there 
<laughs> oh, yeah, because uh, Black Adam is actually anti hero. I mean, is actual villain, not an anti hero. But he's, he's that's an actual the asshole. Like, if you whip, if you whip Superman's ass or, or or whoever's ass in the movie the way you whipped Cody's ass last night, that would have saved the DC universe at least. And speaking of that ass time. whooping, let's talk about that ass whooping. <laughs> hey, we already on Raw. Let's talk about that ass whooping, man. Boy, I ain't but that man was. Cussing up a storm, like <laughs> dude, like dude pull out the weight belt and everything. I'm like, in oh, the God rain, damn. in the, in the rain. bro, that that visual and the cold, <laughs> and it was cold. Like you could see in his Chicago. breath. You could see his <laughs> breath when he was talking. He's like, huh, huh, get up, boy. Look what you at now, boy. Huh, you, you, you heard look that? At you. Look at you now. Uh huh. <laughs> look at you. Uh, he, he's talking. Look what you look what you're done, boy. Look what you uh, look what you're done, boy. <laughs> <laughs> talking all this, Ma- like, bro, this dude, Ma- this dude, Mama Rose <laughs> got his fingers on the chin, on your chin, like, bro, fight back. He got he, he got his fingers on your cheek, on your jaw, and your chin, like, hey, look at you, look at you, you little. And the bitch. glasses didn't fall off from once. Not once, like bro, this dude was whooping your ass with his glasses on. To be fair, Rock was always good at that. Just, just to throw that in there, yo, that those glasses <laughs> almost hardly ever came off in time. He did that. And this man pulled out a Mama Rose, but he literally got a custom weight belt made of Mama Rose with his bull in the middle. That's diabolical. <laughs> this is a villain, man. <laughs> Right. Like, like this was this is the real Black Adam. Like for the first time, the, the, the Rock actually did an acting part that I enjoyed for the first time in ten years. <laughs> What's he? Like, he, he, he ain't he ain't like no the more. Rock again. He finally yeah. acted like the Rock again. Like it it took him a while, but but Dwayne Johnson found the Rock again. <laughs> like that that's how I felt. And, and it's and, funny like, how that's my for goal. Over, ten, for over ten years he's been playing the Rock on in these movies. But God. he was not playing The Rock. He was playing God. Dwayne Johnson in a tight ass T-shirt. <laughs> Here, he was literally The Rock. Like, yeah, like bro. And it's like, damn. I kind of want you to. I kind of want you to turn on Roman in the night one, take his title, <laughs> say I'll defend the title, <laughs> and let him be the final boss when it comes to night two. Because it's like, bro, you, 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 you literally little sonned your cousin right now, like. Bro, that's yeah, darn. Damn. That's darn. Like, team, yo, like. he, he couldn't take care of Cody. Like he's like, yo, I, he's like, he's I, like, I, I got, got you. I care of you. I got you. I like I kind of want. I kind of wanted the visual of Roman walking into the shot, and then Brock just push you to the side. Like I got this, and then start <laughs> whooping his. Like that's literally like, damn. He been little bro the entire storyline ever since the the, the the press conference in Vegas. When, mm-hmm. Like. When, 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 when he when walked Cody, up in front of him, yeah, like 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 a movie scene. It's like, all right, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold, 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 hold. What you say about my? What, what you say about my family? <laughs> what you say? What you I say said about that, my grandma? I just I what just say, say he'd be ashamed of you. What? What you say about my what grandmama? Do all right, I'm all in. Don't be a menace. Do we have a problem? <laughs> <laughs> See now I gotta cut you. Catch, catch. <laughs> That's the rule. That's the rule. I got to catch, bro, man, bro. Uh, that whole segment, like, oh, man, I could. It was. You know, it, it was, was perfect. Can't stop talking. It was perfect in the like the. It was the visual, the way it felt like. It felt like Batman getting his ass whooped by Bane in front mm-hmm. of everybody. Like he didn't get his back broke, but <laughs> close enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> And and, and and at at certain points, like me and my brother was watching it yesterday, look, seeing at the TV, it was like, "Yo, is Nick gonna is he gonna throw him off the ledge?" Like, Bro, I was, I I was right. thinking about it. I was like, Yo, I, I, was I, thought like he was gonna, "I thought he was going, I thought he was going homage what he did to Austin, Austin okay, and be like in front, in front and, and, and the visual of the truck in front of him is Austin and and, and Cena. I have a theory about that, but mm-hmm. it was like, "Yo, I'm like, yo." Y'all ain't slick, because I'm like, yo, ain't no way you placed it just perfectly like that to see what the hell's going on with Cody getting his ass whooped, being mm-hmm. whooped down as the hero by the main villain. And now that the villain's at that arc where he's like, yo, I'm at my I'm at my villain shit. Like, I'm at my you can't stop me. Mm-hmm. Now, it's, now it's Cody's time to overcome that. <laughs> that mania. <laughs> so it's like, it's crazy. What? Man, that whole, that whole ass whooping was just like, oh my god, this is some of the like. How you come back like, from that? <laughs> it's like, look, listen, listen, Cody, Cody, 
brother, I, I know you want to pontificate every week that you go out there. You want to do the woe. I don't need you to do no more woe. I don't need you to do no more. Uh, come on, guys. I don't need you to hype the crowd. Just every time you walk out there from now to mania, well, in, until you get your lick back, I need you to go whoop the rocks. I need you to go <laughs> run over this man at this point. That type of ass whooping ain't justified with just winning the title. You got to go do something. You got to go whoop his ass. You got to go run him over. He's kind of big. so And, and it's, it's a lot of Samoans. So they spun up like gnats. So get the, get the dog, too. Yeah, <laughs> where, where, where was Pharaoh? Like, where Pharaoh, like, like, bro, you're like, supposed to be man's best friend. You, your master getting his ass whooped, and you out here just you probably out there eating. Like, nah, like, dog's wait. supposed to smell you like a mile, like a mile away. He's like, yo, they, they would know if trouble comes up. Mm-hmm. Dog didn't show up once, nowhere. Like, yeah, no barking, <laughs> no barking. Like, you, like, bro, you getting your ass whooped outside of your family bus. I'm pretty sure your daughter was in that bus. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, do not be out here trying to smile and all this stuff. Bro, you better be, you better be on site. You better have your bull rope, your bell, all Take- that stuff. You better, if, if Jimmy Uso get there, you better crack him in the dome. If mm-hmm. Solo get in his face, you better crack him in the thumb and the dome. Come you, on. If you, like, like, bro, like, bro. Hey, hey. Everybody is on Li- site with everybody. Liberty, hey. going to, Liberty going to preschool, having her little friend say, yeah, your daddy got beat by Maui. <laughs> 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 what can I say except you're welcome? You're welcome. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're hitting it on the nail, bro. When you say it's on site, it's on site. when you say it's on site, you better take notes from LA night and you better pull up at Disney and grow, find where he lived, one of them houses. <laughs> yeah, be ready to it's roll. On site. It's, it's on, on site. site. Yeah, and I, a- <laughs> I respect it. You, you better pull up to you better pull up to wherever he's promoting that the, the, the male products he got coming out. You better pull up to wherever they sell Terramonda. You better 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 pop up to uh, whatever movie say he got to go on. You better pop up every single day. That type of ass whooping. Ain't justified for you just saying your grand your ancestors will be disappointed to you. They didn't say your ancestors was ugly. They didn't say your ancestors was stupid. They said they would be in disappointing your ass. And you say, you know what? I'm gonna whoop your ass like you stole something, like you robbed my bank, you robbed my house. You I'm gonna whoop you so bad that it's like rent is no longer overdue. I own your house. Mm-hmm. That's the type of ass whooping that we just saw <laughs> with Rock and Cody. That's the type of ass that bro. Austin would never. <laughs> Austin would never. Austin who? Austin Aries? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Austin Creed. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but I love the Mick, fact that he showed Mick up Foley unannounced. Had flashbacks. <laughs> I, but I love the fact that he did all this unannounced too, because they did not promote him. Yo, more. not mm-hmm. not at all. Like not he just showed up. I was shocked. He showed up. Crowd went crazy. He Those are the best appearances too, man. When they when they when you don't expect it, because mm-hmm. like they the, announced the, him for the, the next show. week. Yeah. Even with the pop, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like. <laughs> Same old Chicago, though. I always got to try to hijack a moment. Get you fickle fans. Get hyped. And then you want to look at a face to face and just be like, see you in pump. See you in pump. Well, like, what the freak that got sense. to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Chicago. I, I expect it at this point. I'll be, I'll be surprised if they don't do it. I ain't going to hold you. Drew Drew got punk with that line. It's like, yo, every time I see you, I was like, I know you're not a drug drug addict. You don't, you're don't. you a straight edge, but how come I always see you in rehab? <laughs> 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 yo, I was like, yo, that's a, I was like, that's a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. That was, it was a lot of... Like, that, that was a ball. That was a ball. That was a ball. Drew said, I'm the chosen one. Oh, who's the one? <laughs> Name the person that... Who, who, who chose you? Who uh, chose you? Who chose TV. you? I yelled at my TV. I, yo, I was like, yo. I was like, don't you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and look, Drew just laughing because he wanted to say something to retaliate. He couldn't because he was just like, I can't even say this. Bad He's like, I can't, I can't clap back. I can't clap back. I'm stuck. Uh, I, I was like, the irony was lost on me because of the fact that, you know, everybody was getting all the updates about Diddy Island. So, so, so. <laughs> oh, so, no. No, Diddy. 
I was like, yo, it all fits. I'm like, yo, I don't believe it coincidence, son. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, that's a goddamn bop I haven't heard one, man. Mm-mm, I'm like, yo, Phil is an asshole for that. No, Diddy. No, Diddy. <laughs> I was like, yo, you can't even say his name on TV, man. You can't out a hole and a hole, and people don't understand that sometimes. What they can always find a reason. I was I was told that that CM Punk is a Scorpio, and it makes yes, sense. It, it, makes it makes sense because I'm a Scorpio, so it makes sense. We we're naturally petty, so it fits. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy, it fits. Oh boy. When, 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 oh, Seth tried to insert himself. I said, "Look at you, trying to. That, that's cute. Look at you." And that's the thing. It's like Seth always. I don't know if it's by design or it's just unintentionally funny, but he always give me pick me. He's been giving me pick me all mania, all mania, bro. It's just pick me, pick Cause me. Because he, he and everybody else's shit, but his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. And, and he was in his shit here, and he still gave off. Pick me vibes. And, and, the worst, and the worst part about it is, is like, yo, I'm trying to help you, Cody, because I couldn't beat Roman my damn self. And, and it's like, yo, you about to you you about to do the job, and I'm some I'm low key jealous, but I'm cool over here because I'm still a champion type shit. But yet this motherfucker punk over here coming back trying to reclaim the glory days because you know real glass is the reason why he left. And yeah. then and then Drew sitting over here hating because it's like he didn't get his moment because there was nobody there. So it's like, yo. It just all made for good TV, man. It, I'm still like, mad that Seth was wearing my old couch. That nigga was wearing 70s bell bottoms, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen that in somebody's pimp car. At like, least once. That outfit looked like he went to Studio 54. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why the, the dots on it make it look like he's trying to um, mocap a, a video game right now. I'm surprised it didn't light up. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Coach> Jericho style. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost thought his name was almost, you know, not not sayable anymore. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh. laughs> oh, diggity, and no diddy, because because he, he he damn near close. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! I mean, he, I, I mean, he he ain't got to be like the true story of Judas and, and go off the tree, but. Hey, my man, why you gotta be all up on Drew like that, though, bro? Ain't this, a, ain't this the same? Ain't this the same Joker who was all up on Punk when he came back? Man, for real, I'm like, yep. bro, what you, you all up in Chicago, this man's face, bro? Chicago, 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 like, bro, you had the opportunity of a lifetime to say something. That's all you had to say. <laughs> Chicago, nah, hey, watch my show. <laughs> hey, watch my content. No, Chicago, 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 Chicago. Nah, Pat. That entire segment was just a hate off. Like that's all. It, like people was like, "What was that?" I'm like, "Bro, it was just." Punk, it was, Cody it was literally, a Cody literally said at the top of the show, "This is the awkward phase between now and Mania, to where we don't really have much else to build to, so we're just winging it." They, this funny. entire show felt like it was just they was just winging it. <laughs> that's the that's the beauty of it, though. <laughs> Boy. Like the we, promos that they was delivering, everybody was cut. I'm like, we need did the writers that. go on strike? <laughs> Man, what? Now, now we need that. What was this like three or four weeks ago? Good lord! It's like, like it's everything like, was all over the place until they finally got to the point. I was like, God damn, what's the, what are we doing here? <laughs> Oh man! Even, so, even, the, even the Becky Reyes segment was good too. It, like this one, I think they're before we move on to that. I think this one they're uh, teasing possibly Punk being a guest referee. You know they're gonna find some kind of way. You, you know, you know it's crazy. Me and my brother was talking about this yesterday about like how they setting the framework up. Indirectly, they're recreating Sean versus Brett between Seth and and Punk, and using like. A devoid like Drew in the middle, kind of like Taker in '97. Oh, okay. that, that SummerSlam thing, and then like what alluded to it was how Seth hit the sweet chin music on Drew yesterday, and like it, it's, it's like it's the reverse effect because you know Punk is the one doing commentary coming off an injury. Back then, Sean was coming off injury, you know, and this and the third, so it, it parallel. So they kind of recreating that story into this one, which is which is good because like my brother did call it yesterday. So I was like, like now that I thought about it, like after I smoked and I, I thought about it, when you when you no because normally you, you have your best thoughts when you're high. Mm-hmm. 
I have all my best <laughs> thoughts when I'm high. That's, I, that's where I get all my video ideas and my what if scenarios. I'm like, hmm. So, so I was like, oh, shit. And I had to replay. Like, all right, Sean hit, you know, take her with the with the chair, indirectly making Brett Champ design the third, setting up their feud. I'm like, ah, oh, this makes sense because Punk is gonna be you know healthy by by SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I kind of like how the fact that they're doing some callbacks because you know NXT is basically Sean's greatest hit, so why not use one on the main roster? True. Hey, I, I, I'm mm. not. I'm not mad at it. So it's like this was an intern. Like, like, like I pay attention to social media for the most part, but you know, I already know how I do. I literally be like, "Yo, this I, was." I just watch as a fan. And just like, this was this was fun. This was fun. Like it, it was hilarious. Like the the clap, like and Punk talking about, "Hey, my mouth, my, hey, I, my arm might not work, but my mouth still do." Oh wait, we on Netflix yet? But April knows what I'm talking about. I'm like, bro, did you just say you eat your wife's pussy? Okay, congrats. <laughs> I, it didn't get a, it didn't get a lot of a lot of people didn't get that reference, but I'm like I know exactly what you meant. That shit, that shit, that, that shit flew <laughs> over their minds. Yeah, but yeah, man. Hey, uh, you know, uh, never change our truth. Never, <laughs> never change. Never change, bro. Like that dude. Go to commercial break. Commercial break. Go to commercial. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, he because he about to get his ass whooped. He's like, bro, uh, yeah, I'm I'm about to die. I'm on commentary tonight. I'm not working tonight. I'm on commentary. And then he said, Miz talking about Maccabee. He's like, Kazoo type. God bless you. And I'm like, bro. (laughs) JBL, where your cowboy hat at? Like, bro. bro, Oh, man. This dude, boy. Oh, God. I got to love it. Got to love our truth, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, Becky and Rhea. Yeah, we talked about them. Becky and Rhea. Did that face off sell you on the match? It sold I me. Mean, on, I, I, I mean, Dom getting rock sold me. <laughs> <laughs> <They're right there. laughs> and he actually took that punch too. So I'm like, yeah, sold like a champ. Like, uh-huh. a, yeah, that shit it's, clean. It was funny how it's like I brought that up because I saw people <laughs> on social media. They, they was like, "It's the same old. It's, it's the same as last year with Rhea and Charlotte." I said, "So this is your first time watching wrestling?" Every ma- every feud doesn't need someone to get ran over by a car. Every feud doesn't need to get they ass whooped like Cody did. You can literally just build up to it. And the sto- and it's like I-, I I had people literally ask me they're like, "What's the story? What's the story?" Becky says she can't. She don't think she can beat her. She th- she did this in January, in before the Royal Rumble. She said, "I have to win the Royal Rumble because I I don't think I can beat you." She went a good minute in the Rumble, got eliminated. So she's been fighting and fighting and fighting. Won the Elimination Chamber to solidify that match. And even then she said, I don't think I can beat you. So she's been fighting everybody from your Liv Morgan to Nia Jax and the freaking last woman standing match just to prove, to, just to shake that doubt. And then when this happened, Rhea basically got personal and said, you know what? You're not taking this serious. It's like you're, you're, not, you're wrestling before your biggest match of your life. I'm not doing that. And when the bell rings and I win again and I break you down, I'm going to leave you alive just enough so that you can sit next to your daughter and she can say, and so that she can call me mommy. She got personal. Becky doesn't take the mommy jokes serious. She mentioned, she referenced her, her father not meeting her, meeting her daughter. And it got real heavy. It got real quick. And it got to the point where fists start flying. That's your story. It was simply done. It was simply told. <gasps> Eureka! I just and, and, told you everything. Mm-hmm. Just and like they, that. And, and, they, and they told it. And it, and it didn't have to be like one day or, or that instant to tell you the story. They've waited since January, December, January, Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, to tell you that story in full. So now when they finally you know pull off the story when she eventually is going to win, is gonna basically see Becky went all the way down and literally fall all the way back up. Ultimately, just to fall to, again. J- just just to, just to <clears throat> fall again. And then mm-hmm. for Rhea, when she falls, it's gonna create a different hunger in her because now there's a bigger goal. Mm-hmm. It's not just regaining the title, it's more so all right, I'm back at the mount, I'm back down now. Mm-hmm. When I get back up, everybody I'm coming back up for, I'm gonna be more dominant, more vicious, more this, and then when I'm ready. For whoever has that belt, she's going to basically tear that person apart just to get mm-hmm. it. Hmm. 
Yeah, and, simple and, story. <clears throat> and adding adding to what Gresh even said there, it's in Philadelphia, people. What's Philadelphia most known for? Rocky movies. Becky Balboa. Becky, she, that was Becky literally Balboa. one of her gimmicks at one point. <clears throat> Becky, Becky Balboa. Balboa. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it's, it's simple. And most of these people who who got a problem with it is basically because they don't have their favorite in that position. I'm like, so okay, I'm like, okay, so if y'all hijack, say you want you want them to rush the Liv Morgan Revenge tour, you know she's losing, right? If she faces at WrestleMania, she's losing. What are y'all not comprehending? And that match won't even go past ten minutes. Barely ten minutes. It'll be a squash. It'll be a squash. Let her get this win because we all know it'll be it'll be shocking if Becky wins. It'll be shocking. I'll be shocked. I'll be like, we all see Rhea winning. Let Rhea get this win. And if she do, if she do fall and she falls to Liv Morgan, build it up for SummerSlam. Take your time. Y'all, y'all don't know how to pad the spaces, but then again, I have to remind myself that a lot of y'all are, are kids or have the mental capacity of, of toddlers. And that's an insult to toddlers because a lot of the toddlers in my family are geniuses. Moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> People got a lot uh, to cook, man. Not everything's microwave given. What, what y'all think about this Sammy and Gunther build? It's another Rocky movie. Mm-hmm. It's another Rocky movie. This is, this is Sammy's like, Rocky, what, three. Rocky, Rocky 3. And mm-hmm. uh, Chad, Chad is basically Apollo in this case. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is the this 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 is the, this is a great story told this time. I think because it's Philly theme, a lot of the WrestleMania theme stories that you see are Rocky driven from Becky to Sammy. Um, it's cool, man. Um, being a big fan of Sammy, obviously people thought that Sammy was going to have his big moment last year instead of Cody at WrestleMania against Roman to basically end the bloodline. That didn't happen. <laughs> nope. So <laughs> Cody has to finish the story. You know, <laughs> this time around. And um, so Sammy, ever since NXT, has always been the underdog. And mm-hmm. Real Ones was there in the trenches when he was facing Adrian Neville, uh, Tyson Kidd, Cesaro. You know, and, and, I still go like, back and watch those matches. Mm-hmm. Ma- masterpieces. So it's like, and, and see him chasing NXT. And then when he finally, finally won. And of course, we all know what happened after the match with Kevin Owens did. <laughs> oh, hater. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was some hating that shit. But still, the fact that he had, like, his climb, it, it, it makes for a great story. And that was around the same time Daniel Bryan had that story for, for Yeselmania. Mm-hmm. We, we we were able, the culture was able to experience Kofi Mania. We we wanted Sammy Mania. And sure, it may not happen with the, with the main title, but him beating Gunther, who's held that title like a world title, even more so than with the title that Seth is currently holding for Raw, like mm-hmm. it's gonna mean a lot more because of the lineage and the prestige of that title. So when he does win it, and people forget, the last time he held that belt was also a member of Bahrain in front of nobody when he was the Liberator. Like people oh, forget yeah. that triple threat match with him and his, Jeff Hardy and like, him and versus AJ match, Styles. AJ Styles, mm-hmm. like that shit was crazy, and, and the way that he like outsmarted everybody in order to retain that belt, like yep. like yep. Sammy. As a liberator, when he was with that championship belt, was was awesome. I think if he does it against Gunther, like this will be like his fighting championship, and you get dope matches out of everybody else. And this obviously removes Gunther from that, so he can go for the bigger title. Yeah. So that's, that, that's and I, understand, how, that's and I understand why people wanted Sammy to go after the world title. Like, be it, it, it would have been cool to see him finally win because I I do feel like Sammy is. I'm not saying above the Intercontinental title, but I feel like he should be a world champion at some point. If they do not let, like, if he does not win that that Intercontinental title at Mania, he has to win that world title at some point. And okay. even even if he even if he wins it and he be the one that loses it to Gunther, I don't know, but I feel like he needs to have a run with that world title at least. I'll tell you somebody point. else climbing up that slowly too that I think ain't too far from that is Ricochet, man. Ricochet getting back to that point where he's, you know, Triple H, you know, he, he's one of them Triple H guys, man. And I think they're going to find a way to get that man, if, if they can find a mouthpiece for him, that they're going to get him at that point where he's going to mess around and get a run his darn so. You think they're um, going to uh, put it like a turn him heel? Uh, I can't Cause, tell cause, yet. Because I, I, I saw someone, they was like, what if they turn Ricochet heel? And I'm like, 
he will basically just be Little Rock. Ha. <laughs> or Ricky Starks. Or Ricky Starks. <laughs> Ball Ricky Starks. Back and forth. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Yeah. Nah, it could work. You know? Hey, man, what's MVP doing? You know my MVP type. Somebody. What the hell is MVP doing? <laughs> He's he's with almost. <laughs> yeah, with what the hell is almost yeah. doing? Uh, trying to run around the world, around the world yeah. basically being the next up, Titus. I mean, that ain't a bad uh, bag, man. Without that, we don't get Obo Femi. So <laughs> my point is ooh, that represent <laughs> for them Nigerians, man. You know Representing for the Nigerians. <laughs> but you know, hey, I'm, that's all I'm saying. You know, we need we need an MVP or somebody, dog, somebody with a voice for my boy Rick Shay, so we can, you know. Catapults and said next level, man. The look oh, there, yeah. the athleticism there, you know what I'm saying? We just hey get him a mouthpiece, he's good. If Speaking only, of simple if, if only Abraham Washington didn't get himself canceled. Man. <laughs> that still pisses me off to this day. Ever bro, that man was golden, bro. Like <laughs> he was so golden. Oh my god. He is another what if. <laughs> He is a huge what if if he if he wasn't so stupid, man. <laughs> man the mouth on that brother. Pause. Look the mouth. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Do that just to be on the safe side, baby. That's all, but still, man. Hey, hey, oh, man, man, damn, man, <laughs> damn. <laughs> you just brought up a throwback, boy. I said, God dang, <laughs> like I think to myself, like, yo, why do you, why do you have to say that? <laughs> and when I was young at the time, and I was like. Why? Do, why? What? What did this accomplish? Because I remember him saying that, and I was stunned. I was like, "What?" And then the next thing I know, he wasn't there. I'm like, "Bro, you got yourself fired because you wouldn't, you wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you had to, you had to try to be funny." Uh, yo, no, I do put the boom, put the boom in there. <laughs> uh, Oh boy! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I knew from the moment the match was over that nigga was done. <laughs> like, nah, nigga soon, nah. <laughs> I knew, I knew he was done. In retrospect, when they went to commercial break and he wasn't there no more, <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> They ejected him from ringside. No, they said, get your ass out of here. You're done. <laughs> oh, how, you, how you get fired on air? Oh. They didn't even wait for you to clock out. They said, yeah, you got to go. Two week notice, my ass. No. no. Uh, you, you got fired in the middle of your shift. Not on your day, y'all. Not after you clock out when you get, get guaranteed to get paid. You got fired on your shift. You're done. <laughs> they said, Why go to commercial TV? break. Commercial break. Stu, go to commercial break. <laughs> Yo, live TV too, dog. Like, how you get fired on live TV? Oh, man. <laughs> People forget, dog. Like, primetime Yo. players was a whole different... Like, Yo, oh. they fucked up their whole momentum for like two years. Like, you had... <laughs> like, and then they had... They never, honestly, they never recovered. No, they ended up winning the tag team titles after, but like... <laughs> It was in, but but they were dead on arrival. At I'm that talking about as far as like the like the 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 presence they they that they had was, with him. Yeah, it, that it, was it, done. It, it was dead. <laughs> it was done. And man, <laughs> that could have been a real golden phase of that PG era. Of the home and the, and the la- and the next highlight after that for Titus O'Neil was the slide. Oh shit. <laughs> that was literally the only highlight. <laughs> yo, yo. Michael Cole made the uh, whole event watchable because of that moment. <laughs> like Michael the Cole, one- Corey Graves, all on bust out. They're like, what? <laughs> Man, listen. Just imagine if you had Pat McAfee around that time, boy, with oh, that no. little instant camera. Oh my goodness. Bro, now nah, nah, Pat Pat would have made it so hot, like your bitch would have been pissed because it's like, yo, <laughs> Pat would have forgot where he was. <laughs> <laughs> and by, by the time the show is over, he goes to the gorilla. What the fuck was that? 
you should have, you you should have, I should have, I should fire your ass. <laughs> wow, man. Boy, 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 boy. Oh, man. Oh, like, my God. Yo, that tightest line was hilarious because I'm like, yo, how do you fall <laughs> on live TV? So, and they slide and, all and, the, and the way into the ring. Out of the ring. I was like, nigga was playing baseball, so. <laughs> And what made it even more funny is the fact that he stayed there. Mm-hmm. A split mm-hmm. second. It's like, it wasn't, it didn't come off his plan. I was like, that's not playing. Because he was like, oh. and then he was like, oh my God, oh my God. And then he's like, oh. and he stumbled into the ring. So the, the entire thing made it even more funny. Like him just stumbling around. Oh my bro, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Before. Like, I don't remember anything from that show, but that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty much. Yo, if, it, if he ever gets into the Hall of Fame, I know it's going to be just for that because ain't no way. <laughs> oh, he'll get in, all right. Oh, he going to get in. And that's, they going to play that over and over. Oh, oh my boy. God. Oh, Yo. man. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, about, is he already in because he won that Warrior shit? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's technically in. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they did, they did play it. They did play it, though. And they played it, too. So, yeah. Yeah, they did. So yeah, that oh boy, that you just lie down. That that's a whole bunch of stuff to laugh about. But yeah, Ricochet, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued what they do with him. And um, I guess the last thing about for Raw was uh, Jay Uso beat Shinsuke Nakamura. I do not give a fuck about Shinsuke no more. <laughs> oh my boy, well, because he yeah. never wins, bro. Like, bro, you lost again. And I'm like, bro, what? you all doing all this talk. What? You called this man. The only thing memorable about him on Raw was he called him James instead of Joshua. Well, to be fair, at least it means Jay actually got a win. That's why I said, well, I, I didn't even, I barely paid attention to the match because I'm like, bro, I do not care about Shinsuke. I was, when I told you a couple of weeks ago, I was like, bro, I do not, I no longer want to hear or see about Shinsuke. I'm dead serious. I'm like, bro, anything you do, I'm over. Okay. So who do you care less about right now? Shinsuke or Wardlow? Wardlow. I care way less. They're having a mid-off right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was waiting for the capital B. Oh. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. I forgot my home slogan. Both of them. B-O-F-F-U-M. Both of them. Both. Like- what, what, what we normally say on our on, on our side, like um, you know the Deion the Deion Sanders edit, like when he used to like do his little shit before mm-hmm. he went to you know before he went all coach prime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> ain't nobody care. So like like he would say some shit like that. Like if you don't care about nothing, it's like uh, uh, he was like oh um oh uh it's like oh it's like, Miami and Tennessee is on TV uh, on Sunday. Ain't nobody care about that game. Who want who want to see Tennessee go out there? <laughs> And embarrass themselves on national TV. Get out of here with that bull jump. <laughs> you know, next game, you, you got you got the Giants and the Command. The, the, the what? Ain't nobody care. Get, 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 get that bull jump out the team. <laughs> like, I don't care about Shinsuke. I don't care about Wardlow. <laughs> I don't care about Ridge Holland. I don't care about none of these niggas. Lexus King, none of them. I don't care. So yeah, J one, congratulations! You going into your in your match with your brother Jay with a win. Jay, J- Jimmy with a win. So which who else you? that fool? You know, it hit me earlier, and I'm like, you know, this fool ain't had not one single match actually in this entire buildup. Nope, the last Jimmy ain't had, had not one thing. The, I think the last single match wasn't his last single match was John Cena. I, I think, or am yeah. I forgetting one? I feel like he had one against somebody because he got one little win on somebody inferior. I forgot who it was. Was it on SmackDown? Yeah, it was like. Let's wait, go to wait. let's go to Tony Khan's favorite uh, site, CageMatch.net. Uh, <coughs> Jimmy Uso. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's buy the best cocaine at. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, he 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 faced off against LA Knight on March second. Oh, I mean February. Was it March or February? February. I think that's February. Because they, they still had an open program. I forgot about that. Yeah, yep. and that was at a house show. Uh, see, and he lost. <laughs> of course, of course. You see what like Jimmy, can you at least get like one match? You know, before? like I'm looking at his. I'm looking at his. Oh, he faced LA. The last time, the last time he had a one on one was against Randy Orton, and he lost. <laughs> 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 oh, I was some good news. Like, did he win? 
Night lost. Nah, he lost. Uh, <laughs> you see, like, you see my it, point. It's, it's like if you scroll all of them, you see all the live event shows. You like L.A. Night defeats, 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 defeats. Steel Cage, Street Fight, Street Fight, Steel Cage, Royal Rumble. See, and, and, and Roman not mad about and Roman not mad about that. Like Roman guys' priorities all fucked up. Normally, yeah. like, yo, yo, any type, any type of failure on his team, he he be going berserk on everybody. Normally, like, yeah, you know, no, do your job. No, November seventeen, he lost. <laughs> See, October twenty seven, he lost. Damn, son. I'm talking about SmackDown. Uh, October six, he lost by DQ. <laughs> <laughs> September twenty ninth, he defeated Carl Anderson in two minutes. See, so that's that was last, that was the one. That's yeah. his last singles win. But yeah, even then, ain't nobody care about Carl. Anderson. Ain't nobody give a good fuck about Carl Anderson. Like, <laughs> ain't nobody care. Ain't ain't nobody, nobody. nobody give a shit. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, dog, I need you. Give did get a man a tune up or something, goddamn. At least bar none. Make me one of everybody. Like, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to brother. Because they don't realize, they don't realize what they're doing. If he does not get any type of wins, he has to win at Mania. Otherwise, he's going to be shown as a loser, loser, loser. Like a loser, loser for real. Loser, it's like, bro, you can't even beat your own brother. If that don't move Roman, then 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 that, that nigga is gone, like far gone than we thought. <laughs> and you still call him the uh, big brother, and use nobody's B I T C H. You know, right, uh, what, that. Well, bring bring that Jimmy. Where that Jimmy at? Well, to be fair, that Jimmy lost too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, I was like, wait, 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 wait. That, 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 that Jimmy got choked out. <laughs> yeah, that Jimmy got choked out twice. He was nobody business, but he got choked out. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, we we can't really we can't really defend Jimmy right now. Like this man has, has always been he's he's nobody's business, but he's been bitched out a lot. <laughs> oh man, but you big bro. Nah, man, come on. Yeah, man. no, no, Jimmy's been bitched out a lot. <laughs> he's been bit, he... but he big bro. The, the the fact that Roman ain't pack him up the way he did Jim, the way he did Jay is, is, is baffling because it's like he should be getting it worse than Jay. He's been, he's been getting Roman. it worse. <laughs> like see, again, Roman's priorities is all fucked up. It's like yo, you too focused on Cody. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you know your big cousin treating you like the little bro, and you and you get hurt at the same time because ain't nobody basically focused on you because mm-hmm. you're the tribal chief and not the mm-hmm. high chief or the final boss so mm-hmm. it's like yo it, it, it kind of irks you know you a little bit so it's, it's a lot going on right now it, it, it's, it's all fucked up man and your little bro just keep on losing like a little bro would lose it's just like god dang bro and then solo ain't is solo yeah, so he's kind of just there poor so, guy so, so you don't even look at the thumb anymore man <laughs> you got zilla five two out here cooking doing various ways of, of the spiking you out here just You don't even do that no more. He, 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 he just... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, bro, you you are like I'm about to get you replaced. <laughs> about, to, about to hit up Jacob right quick. The actual street champion, because you out here not you ain't championing them, but I need you to change that damn hoodie though. Uh yeah, right. that's wild. Before we switch over to NXT, we got a nice little uh, plug for WrestleMania week. Uh, shout out to for uh, is it was it Philly Mania Smash Smash Master Wrestling from from the woods to the hood. Uh, we are a, an official sponsor. We are an official sponsor for that uh, for that show uh, that is going down on April fourth. WrestleMania week. Uh, shout out to them and shout out to Jay Bougie because this is the match that we are officially sponsoring. Uh, Jay Bougie versus Ace Austin from TNA Impact Wrestling. The king of the NYC, Jay Bougie versus Ace Austin, the inevitable. He hit me up uh, the other day and he was like, bro, can you sponsor this? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> it was without question. So we we uh, helped them make this match official. But yo, make sure you guys check this out if you are Looking for some some indie content to check out. It'll be streaming on YouTube, I believe. Uh, the links will be uh, on their page if you go to Smash Smash Master. I believe it's fifty seven ninety seven. I believe that's the official Twitter handle. Let me pull that up right quick before I forget. Yeah, Smash Master five seven zero. So 
yeah, Pro Wrestling Party. Uh, so yeah, make sure you guys check them out. It'll be it'll be going down in Philly. If you are in Philly, I believe tickets are fifteen dollars. There will be alcohol if you are the person that wants to drink alcohol. So uh, that's your that's your thing. And uh, yeah, man, had to had to plug that right quick. That was that was that was pretty pretty. That would be a pretty fun thing to do. And we might try to we might try to swing through if uh it's it's the same day as Wale, Man- Wale Mania. Um, you know how I get if I get bored, I'll dip. <laughs> it don't matter. So it's like if if I get bored, I'll just head over there and see what what's what's popping over there. But yo, make sure you that guys definitely check that out. NXT, NXT that just went went down. What, what's your overall consensus of as we're building to stand and deliver? Yeah, we got to think on that. Hmm. Well. Good point. Uh, hey man, I'm just, going, I'm just ready for another little trip, bro. I ain't even going front. I ain't on. <laughs> I'm ready for another little trip, bro. Point blank. Now, nope, man, yeah. you know the Don, the Don doing his thing too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. You know, I kind of want to see what kind of Don shenanigans he pull if he win this championship. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Not the they way Ilya's training. The hype that they gave this match, we might as well just start there. Let's start there. The stand and deliver, Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes. Mm-hmm. The hype that they gave this match, the what was it, prime target, mm-hmm. three part throughout the entire show, bro. The production behind this mm-hmm. tells me one thing and one thing on that needs to be the main event. Period. Period. It has to be. Like, there's no other way. I, I, they built this up bigger than the title, mm-hmm. any titles, because it's so personal. Mm-hmm. This has to be the main event. Got to be, bro. One hundred percent. That joint gonna be a movie, boy. Mellow out here looking, looking like he filming, like he filming a music video for uh, <laughs> Mario and uh, what's no Marion and 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 all them. So. <laughs> Like you about to hit uh what was it stomp the yard or uh you got sir do it for a little saint do it for a little saint he about to do it for a little saint he about to do it for a little saint straight out of exit wounds goddamn this my hell <laughs> and they gave trick the uh the Rocky montage yeah man again you're missing a lot of Rocky features mm-hmm. you know in the road to WrestleMania so I won't be surprised if they threw that in there for trick so so I, I guess for trick this is his Creed moment. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, because Creed three, Creed one through how many is it three? Three, three, yeah. three soon to be four. Oh, they got a fourth one coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> Melo got an ice box where his heart used to be. Uh, 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 used to be. <laughs> oh boy, the fact that that's so accurate. <laughs> Deadly accurate. That's crazy. That's wow, bro. You hit that on the nail, homie. Oh my god. Now uh, let's see what else they're building to. Oh, yeah, we mentioned the dawn of NXT versus uh Ilya Dragunov. I feel like this match. I don't know why. I feel like this match will is definitely a sleep a sleeper hitter. Mm-hmm. It's, no, it's, it's it's gonna go it's gonna go crazy. It's just the fact that Dragunov is a scary dude. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the way this dude trains is like, bro. Like, are you a are you a saying and it ain't really telling us? Because it's like the way you be training. It's like, bro. And the way this dude literally got his hand readjusted while right facing stacks, and just still won. I'm like, some it's some different. Something different about you, boy. Like like. Like it's it, it even then with even with the um the way he just enters the ring the arena it's like bro you just you just look at him even when he, whether he does the contacts or not it's like bro do I stand a chance against your ass because I feel like I'm about to die. he's a one person Gunther does not want to see on the main roster <laughs> that's one person I want to see face Gunther <laughs> like bro well, well <laughs> y'all say that but apparently Braun over there saying he don't want to see me since I was the last person to beat him. Said, this is whoa. also true. This is also true. <laughs> no, no, no. no. He's got a couple see, see, people he got to worry about now. See, see, see. Bra- Braun is one thing where it's like, all right, you got to be worried about his power. Like, like he could make a mistake against, you know, Brock can make a mistake and Gunther could take over. Dragging off, no matter what you do, 
he just keeps coming, coming <laughs> and coming and coming and coming. Like, like he don't stop. Like you, you could, you could, you could be like Bane and throw him like three doors down into another house. He will still come after you, mm-hmm. like straight up with Jason, everything boy. he got. Like he, he Jason, bro. Like, <laughs> nothing could do. Like on some Solomon Grundy shit. Like you cannot kill him. Like mm-hmm. you, have, you have to throw a grenade at Ilya to have a chance in hell of winning if you're Gunther. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> Oh, whatever, off Mania, if he beats Sammy and you hear that music, oh my God. Dun, 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 Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, and, and, and you don't like, even get interaction. You just you see him just pop up, show up, look at him, and, and, and just know what's up. And, and, like, and, he, and then, then and he can just go back down. He'll be like, now nah, he ain't gonna back down. He can just be like, oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I thought I was away from your ass. <laughs> he gonna pull. Remember when Ilya uh, debut and JD McDonough lost his mind? That's going mm-hmm. through. He gonna be like, oh my god, what the. Fuck? Bro, <laughs> then mm-hmm. I th- no. Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. Yes. Gunta versus Ilya Shemaine yes. and Bash in Berlin. Oh yeah, they are going to Gunta's home country. Mm-hmm. So, oh, most definitely. That's that's without question, right there. Uh, yes. Let's see, let's see what else. Uh, Roxanne and Lyra. They've been they they was building to this match as well. <sighs> One of, the, one, of them get, one of them getting called up. Yeah, yeah. If rocks don't win, it's rocks. Man, yeah. But if she don't, but if she do win, it Lyra right. will get called up, but it probably won't be right away though. Nah, she'll probably l- like lose again to kind of put somebody over, and then she'll dip. Raw needs something, so yeah. So Adam Raw, Pier- need, Adam Raw Pierce, needs one of them. <laughs> Adam Pierce, <laughs> both of them, really. Like, yo, yo, Adam Pierce, whatever you gotta do, t- do some tampering shit. Whatever you gotta do to one up Nick Aldis, get <laughs> Roxanne, Shawn down. Michaels, and I have made a trade. <laughs> so we made we, we made a handshake deal. <laughs> Man, come on now. She was out here cutting that promo. I was not believing the word she said. Again, the camera production that they've been doing down at NXT has been. Mm-hmm. Top fucking notch. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's, it's like yo, some of y'all niggas who 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 like who are doing it on TV right now got to step it up. And I'm not talking. And I'm not talking. I'm always know. stepping up my game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> like, so. And I'm not even. On, I'm not even signed to nobody. I'm just. I'm just. Like, a, I'm just an editor on the side. So it's like. <clears throat> and I'm like, I'm always thinking about. Okay, I need to step it up this way. I need to step it. So I already know. Y'all flung right. Kevin Dunn to the sun, and y'all been blessed ever since. Like, right. <laughs> they shot right. that nigga to the fucking moon. Let the church say amen. Let the but, church say yeah. Y'all sent the devil to burn in hell for once, and it's like, yo, man, y'all mm-hmm. been saved ever since. Like, the yeah. doors pardoned, the sea, you know, the nature. seas were calm. Nature mm-hmm. started, like, nature, and it's like, yo, this feels good again. Like, the camera cuts, everything that you've been seeing, yeah. The it's heaven up. started to shake, and God Himself. But my name is Kevin. It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> hey, y'all! Real oh. fun story is I actually did that promo at a show once. I was literally like, you know what? I'm just gonna put this in the intro of my set. I kid you not, brother. That was so hilarious because some folks got it and some folks didn't, but they still rock with it. It was just hilarious, bro. My, my DJ was just like, "No, you didn't do that, bro." I, was like, I had to, dog. It was hilarious, bro. I could but, not do it. My name is Bob, but my name is Bob. It doesn't matter what your name is, Bob. But my name is. It doesn't. No, all right. <laughs> oh like, no, no. 
No, no, my, my favorite one was when he cut Azo Trippy. <laughs> you're crying, you're crying on Jim Ross. We have Rudy Pooh friends at Madison Square Garden. You, you, you cry. And you're about your Rudy Pooh friends at Madison Square Garden. All the, all the, oh, it's my time. It's, it's my time. You know, in 27 days, I'm going to SummerSlam and I'm getting what I want. I said, no, Triple H, what the Rock says is this. You know, in, in 27 seconds, you're going to get what you don't want. And that's an asshole of the lifetime. <laughs> See Triple H when you knew he was starting to take steroids because he looked he had titties at the time and he was like <laughs> and like like he was seething at the rock when he was doing the promo and he and he's like yo he's like keep talking it's like <laughs> like like that promo was funny like I remember that promo like someone's got a haircut. <laughs> Congratulations, show. You are now a short hair. <laughs> monkey crap. Stinking, stinking power of monkey crap. Oh, oh man. Hair done like Whoopi Shaman, man. man still, still a pussy. A pussy. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, sucker. <laughs> Booker T and Chain. The punk ass sucker. sucker and the, the silver spoon, spoon motherfucker. <laughs> oh man, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, oh rocking his prime was just hilarious, man. Oh man. He's hilarious now, but it's like it, it was another level back then. Mm -hmm. But nah, man. Oof. Ooh. What else happened on NXT? Oh, uh, Thea Hell. Be uh Jasmine, I thought they said nigga for so long. <laughs> I was like, Well, are they saying nigga? But it's Nick's. Oh, that's the shot that's been hanging with JC. I was wondering who the heck that was. I was like, Who is this? And I'm like, Oh, okay, now it makes sense. All right, Shawn yeah, Michael's she she won with the Kimura lock. Show Michael's batting a thousand with where do you find these baddies at? <laughs> yeah, 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 show the bat. It's a sad she had to lose like that, but she, man, hey, man, man, I think they can, it is, and it is, man. they kind of made her. They, they snapped the arm, so I'm pretty sure they probably wrote her off a little bit. So Legit. there's that. Speaking of bad, where the heck is Jada Parker right now, bro? On right. level up. She's on level up. Why she ain't on TV? <laughs> like, level up, she's cool. on TV. Technically, she's on TV. She just hit in the bowels of Peacock. <laughs> Peacock? Like, I thought that was Hulu. No, nah, that's Peacock. No, nah, that's Hulu. Level up. Be, I hear people talk about level they on up Peacock, too. It's on Peacock. On Level up is on Peacock after SmackDown. At 10 I ain't never seen it. I hear people say Hulu. It's on there too. That's where it's supposed to go. I mean, Hulu gets the abbreviated version. I'm just telling you exactly the, where you get the full show. I'm just telling I you. Watch Peacock I am telling you because I watched it last week. I am telling you where it is. <laughs> it is on Peacock. Bro. The full version is on Peacock. She's on Peacock. She's on she, Level Up. She's she getting gonna, her reps in. She, she, she nah, she needs to be on she TV, be dog. She yeah, be man. Special. Honestly, I understand. I understand you're talking with your horns. I'm talking with no, reality. No, I'm talking off the nah, commercial. Nah, so, <laughs> I'm like, Negro, like, how you not capitalize nah, on this I'm, world star? I'm like, bro, nah, hey. The thing nah, is, it's like, I understand. When, when they put it all together, she's she going to be great. That's what I'm saying. She, she And I actually watched them on Level Up. Her mm -hmm. and uh, Shaquan Sugars, uh, Lucky Ali. Oh, man. They got it. They got it. Like they they they're in the right place. Like that's why that's why I put out that tweet. People thought I was going to be horny, but I was like, no, I'm paying it. I'm I know how to turn that shit off. She yeah she she's improving, so she's in the right place. And and the thing about level up, just because she's on level up, they basically use that to kind of introduce new people. So you're going to get your wins, and then she'll she'll be back on regular NXT. Like it's, it's bound to happen after standing delivered. Like that, that's that's how that's the <laughs> that's the beauty behind NXT. They rotate. That is true. That they do do. <laughs> you said I heard HPK got a Zeus account for research. Oh, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> hey. He do. He do. He watched Bad Girls Club. Oh, oh whatever the hell that, that show is. <laughs> but yeah, they build into a six or oh, six woman tag: Thea, uh, Kalani, Fallon versus uh, JC and Kiana and the other woman. I forgot her name. <laughs> I forgot her name. What the hell is Izzy? 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 Is it Izzy? Izzy, Izzy, Izzy Dan? Yes. Okay. Okay. Izzy Dan. Izzy Dan. All right. Hey, I, 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 I trust you. 
<laughs> hey, I trust you the way <laughs> you trust me the way I trust you with that peacock. I'm so sure looking for love on that. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never seen that more pop up on my job. I'm like, oh, for real. They don't promote it. That's the thing. They don't promote it. It's literally just there for content. WWE is, is in the business of content. So it's like you have to literally look for it, or that you literally have to like you have to have a favorite that you know. The only reason why I watch that is because of Shaquan, Shaquan Sugar, uh, Lucky Ali from DPW, just, just to see how he do, just like just like I did with Jay Malachi. And they mm-hmm. was like, oh, because I, I was literally about to turn off, and they said, oh, Jakar, Jada Parker next. I'm like, you know what? I'll stay around a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I stay around a little bit longer. I ain't doing nothing, I ain't doing nothing right now. It's Friday after. It's Friday after 10 p.m. I ain't doing nothing. Let's go. Uh, this is a little business, but uh, uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, pff, Lola Vice lost to was cutting out there cutting a promo like like it was a 2K cutscene. This is also what NXT is for. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, she was out there. Mm-hmm. Doing mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. she lost to Nat- Natalia. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. She lost to Natalia. Which was random as hell. I'm like, Stifler's mom showed up. Ah, <laughs> 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 yo. That's what she looked. That's she always gives me Stifler's good, mom's bro. vibes. She so <laughs> does, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> So Ruka says she'll snatch the soul out of uh, Blair Davenport. So uh, they got beef. Pun intended. Pun intended. I, I ain't mad at it. I said, ah, I see. I see. I see. I see what you did there. So, That's that black side talking. Go on, do what you gotta do. So it's all good. I ain't mad That's, at it. Like I see. I see exactly what you did. Um, Rich Holland is. He left. He's out indefinitely. I, I guess. Yeah. Do y'all have any thoughts on this? What goes around comes around. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Yo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's my thoughts. I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. No. <sighs> he was talking, and I was just sitting there like, what? What? Why? Why, why do we? I, I wanted to find another way to say, why do I give a fuck? <laughs> why? Like, what are they doing? Because it's like, at one point, it's like, how do you bring him back from this? Because, bro, you just basically said you quit. Yeah. Like, like how else the hell? We, like, I, uh, con- congratul- congratulations, I guess. But... Um. Ah, yeah, I got something for you. I got something for you, uh, Rich. Here you go. Here you go. No, 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 yeah. Oh, I know the time frame. I'm just trying to remember why I did not remember that. <laughs> Anything JR does, I would usually remember. I do not remember that. No, JR, wow. no, JR in 03 was unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed that episode. Can't, boy. Can't, I gotta... can't, like, especially, especially, it was probably definitely after the time when Kane burned him, burned his back. <laughs> so oh, yeah, he after was, he got burned, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done making sense. I'm just, I'm just here for the vibes. He was, he was extra bitter. Like, <laughs> He's like, fuck all of ah! you. Oh, man. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you, you bat. You, you <laughs> demon. You were burning hell. You sick. Like, every time he came out, he's like, man, this son of a bitch. Fuck nah, you. Now, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, when Shane was jumping, came from behind, or he was JR. Yeah, get him. 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 Oh, man. Go oh, that nigga. Like, mm-hmm. like, had, like it was in the Triple H of Kane that he had real beef with. <laughs> you like fuck that nigga. <laughs> yeah, son of a damn you, you bastard! Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! Ah, you, you sick! 
Yeah, you son of you mother and Jay King was like, hold on, whoa, we on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh man. But what we can't relax about, we got one more match that was announced for Stand Deliver, the triple threat. Oba Femi versus Josh Briggs versus Die Jack for the North American champion. Well, two of the three are gonna make that slap. I mean, I can't. I can't not. Josh Bridge. He, he he might surprise you. I doubt it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just me. I doubt listen, it. Listen, listen. Any, any any time that title is defended in NXT, somehow, some way, Dijak just turns into Game Seven LeBron for whatever mm-hmm. reason mm-hmm. when it comes to that title. Because like I just remember his matches with Keith Lee, and then like. You know, ricocheting them. I'm like, just like, yo. Anytime that title is involved, you just turn into this crazy performer where you mm-hmm. almost basically die because you're doing these these aerial moves and you're six fucking seven. It's like you gotta pick a struggle. You gonna be a power man or you just gonna be this dude that does flips all the day, all the time. It's like, yo, pick a struggle. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna he, he's gonna make this match very very interesting. Like, I'm I'm not too invested in Josh Briggs. Over Femi his his presence. You know, makes you want to watch. That's a wrestler. Like mm-hmm. that. That's a boy. Like, like, mm-hmm. like, like you know how you like, say those are wrestlers or those are pro. Re- no, that's a wrestler. Like you mm-hmm. know, when you go back to the southern of the of, of the NWA, that's a wrestler. That's the mm-hmm. that's the that's the that's the wrestler you go see when you want to go to the matches. Boy, that's a wrestler. Like, uh, hey, what my thoughts on this match? You want your five star classics? <laughs> you want your thirty minute matches? <laughs> Not me. Me, 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 me. I'm not getting into that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Me, me, smack me. No, no, not even a little bit. No, no, no. Hey man, fuck you. Like you're not about to do this. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll have me when it's like Jay and Naya or something, bro. I'm good on that. <laughs> Y'all can have that. Yeah, I want the big meaty women smacking me. God damn it. I'm good. <laughs> well, speaking of, of Naya, before we uh, like as we wrap, because we're, we're pretty much uh, wrap. Oh, before we move on to Naya, Metaphor is the, the official host for Stand and Deliver, so that'll be a fun uh, shenanigans right there. Chicago. But yeah, speaking of Naya and uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and Rhea, that, that fine piece of caramel, Jakar Jackson. Good lord, <laughs> bruh. Good lord of mercy, bruh. <laughs> we get to see that boy. That's gonna be it. Lord, my shepherd. <laughs> you know what I want, <laughs> Miss Jackson, Miss Parker, Miss Jackson. If she nasty. <laughs> Boy. Boy. <laughs> like my good. <laughs> you can feel the mana. <laughs> the mana the mana is the mana is strong. The mana. The, the mana is strong here. The mana. <laughs> Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Who is the Nigga, it. <laughs> it's it, it's uh-huh. Ty okay, it's Ty okay on Twitter. That's the freak of the week every week. <laughs> oh, oh psh, bro, man. <laughs> and they could be making more porn references than in a little bit. I'm like, bro. I'm like, damn. I'm like you need help. Do you how, you need some help, my man? <laughs> he be like, nah, I'm good. I'm like, no, no, you're not. You need help. I'm you like, are in need of medical help. Like, bro, you are. <laughs> he's a porn encyclopedia. <laughs> like, you be saying names. I'm like, ain't this this? But ain't this the same dude who who listed a dude to people he wanted to have sex with, Brittany Renner or something like that? Like, he literally named all the dudes. <laughs> it's, and I'm like, it's, it's the Brittany Griner. Oh, Brittany, no. was it? Oh, hell no. Oh, no. No, said, was it no. Renner? What's her name? No, Brittany no. Renner? Brittany Renner. Brittany Renner, yeah. Oh, oh okay. okay. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Huh? No, <laughs> no, no Brittany Renner, Renner then, 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 then we, he got to question his life. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, you just basically trying to have two dudes. <laughs> now, 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 I don't understand that Liz Cambodge, you know, like, I don't understand that tall Liz, but, you know, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, I mean, everybody, hey, you, you love what you love. Like, we, we welcome all. Like, we, you love what you no, love. No, 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 love what you love, but. Bro. You know. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> I know Enough said. Sweet. <laughs> but yeah, Rhea and and her her ass was on my on my timeline all Man. weekend. Oh, and Lord. I'm like, bro, I need y'all to relax. <laughs> she, she know what she's doing at this point. She know what she's doing. Yeah, she and she, I, been, I, she, she she been said it on Raw. It's like, yo, all she has to do. And that's why I be like, laughing at these people who be on a high horse about you shouldn't be sexualizing women. I'm like, she's doing it. What she doing herself? It? She's joking about it. Why are you on your high horse? Get off your damn high horse. Like, mm-hmm. Richard, Richard Pryor wants to have a Coke and a smile. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Buddy. I get that on a table. <laughs> okay, have said. a Coke and a smile and shut the fuck up. Shut, shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> like, God yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah. All we got. Should be, and then whenever they be coming back, like it, 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 like they'd be like, yeah, they're laughing at you, or they be saying something stupid, and they'd be like, oh my bad. I'd be like, I'd just be looking at them like, you shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like whatever. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you see, you see the Caribbean me like lays dormant until they say like what are those you know colorful words that 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 trigger me. So like I usually keep the Caribbean dormant, but until then I'm like, yo, like just keep it civil because like. Y'all, y'all doing too much for no fucking reason. Like, relax. For, for yeah. no reason. For no reason. It, no. It, it, go, it can go from, like, no comment, keep it, keep it pushing, to, you know, calling foot get mama on the, the, the next moment. So it's like, yo. Because I'm good like, at I'm good at scrolling. Like, if it was if it was, if it was 2023 me, I probably would have replied to all y'all tweets. But me, I'm like, my block finger is heavy because the imbe- imbecility on this app goes to extreme heights. Unprovoked, uh-huh. so I got a block, block, block. My block list is probably getting longer by by the second. I probably don't block somebody right now while we was doing this show. That's how that's how how I'm over it, I am with people because it's just it is what it is. Uh, but before we get up out of here, because this is a long one, but it was, it was a fun one. Uh, time to get all the leap. Well, we we'll preview tomorrow or later because it's a whole new day. Uh, so, so tomorrow, show? yeah, we got dynamite t- tonight. Oh, 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 I was about to say Tony came out another show. Oh mm-hmm. shit! No, nah, we got dynamite tonight. Uh, we got. I'm sorry. He's like, hold on now, hold on. He's nah, like, whoa, whoa, he gonna he gonna create another show because since WWE got that little speed thing, I'm like, oh, oh, oh you want to make it something for? Okay, watch this. Yeah. A, it's like AEW Tark is back. <laughs> nah, no, nah, no, nah, 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 stop that. Please stop don't. that. Please don't. Nope, nope, no, no, we're not doing that. Um, mm-hmm. we got Will Ospreay versus. Katsuyuro Shibata tomorrow. What's y'all interest level on this one? I got. I get this about a. a, a I, I feel like this is going to cook because it's it's Will Osprey. <laughs> it's going to cook, and because Will Osprey is going to basically try to show Brian, like, all right, I beat him better than you did. So, like, you said you did it like this. I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. So yeah, it's basically a game of I'm better than you. Yeah. <laughs> him and Brian. Uh, next up we have. Let me make sure I'm not tripping. Oh, Swerve Strickland versus Konosuke Takeshita. Mm. Br- bruh. Okay. Now that'll bruh. Yeah, that's going to rival what we just talked about right there. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know what... It's like they, Konosuke has been on the tail of banger matches since Worlds... And, and what was that last pay-per-view, was it? What was it? Uh, Revolution? Revolution. Revolution. Uh, so, and then Swerve, he's basically the next world champion. They just... It's just the inevitable. I feel like they need to just go ahead and, and just have Swerve win the title at Dynasty and just have him cook a little bit and then drop it to whoever. He don't need to ha- he, he don't need to have a full year. He won't. In my opinion. He he, he won't. He's gonna end up losing it to Osprey at uh, in London. Or yeah. Adam Cole if he's ill fast enough. That bro, that that I don't move, I don't move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> Not gone. I guarantee Tony Show ain't gonna do. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> listen, he, he, listen. There, there'll be times Tony even forgets the fact that he has some storylines he forgot on the table. So, oh, he do that all the time until it's the, the, the time for the pay per view, and be like, "Oh shit, yeah, y'all are feuding." Here you go. Mm-hmm. It's like, "Oh shit, we, I do have a pay per view to 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 promote." 
It's this Sunday. I'm like, nigga, like, you wait till now to promote this shit? Yeah, man. Like, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, the Young Bucks versus Private Party in an AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament quarterfinal. They usually cook pretty good together. Yeah. That should be pretty sweet. Yeah, that should be smooth too. I see the Young Bucks winning this one. Unfortunately. I don't care. <laughs> I I really don't about the Young Bucks. I I I, I don't. You, you ain't the only one, buddy. I, 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 I haven't cared since Generation Me. Ah, uh, you bring you just unlock the memory. I, <laughs> I, I, I I don't I don't care now. Right, you go deeper than me because even when they was dead, I still didn't care about them. <laughs> I, was Man, like, I was a Motor City, I was a Motor City Machine Guns guy, so they, I didn't. I, really... I, I, I was Beer Money, Motor City Machine Guns. Yeah, yeah that, I didn't that, really. That, that, I, that was I didn't the really team, care. My, team 3D. Those are my Facts. those are my guys. Mm-hmm. Max you know, Buck, Jeremy Buck, you know, Generation Me. <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I, I was down with Eric Young and PD Williams, man. You know, like listen. You know, mm-hmm. OG TNA don't get enough love, they enough don't. as is. Oh, they do. Yeah. Most of us just, just, we, yeah, we just, yeah, we just moved you know, on. <laughs> you know, Hogan came in and really fucked. Yeah, he, he fucked that whole thing. Yeah, he oh, fucked yeah. the whole vibe up. Surprise, surprise. You know, surprise. And, you know they, they had a chance to resurrect it with you know with Scott, and they and they shot themselves in the foot again. But you know, it's neither here nor there. Yeah, because I, I we haven't even talked about it on this show, like because I, I I barely keep up with it. It's nothing interesting to me. That made me go out of my way to to watch. Plus, I'm not trying to see you know Ashley I'm not trying to see Moose on TV. Man, you that fa- that faction, I still don't give a shit. <laughs> <You know. laughs> we didn't we didn't even review no surrender because it's like I don't the, give a fuck. The day Moose find you know finds Vaseline and lotion is the day I'll probably give it a chance to watch. He always, <laughs> sound, like, <laughs> he always sound like mush mouth to me. <laughs> bro, did you hear how he? Uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, dang, what did he say? It was somebody. Oh, said, ass. <laughs> oh, he said somebody name, and I was like, who? <laughs> okay. Oh, Nimit. Yeah, he said Nick Nimit. <laughs> Nick Nimit. He said Nick like, Nimit. Nick Nimit. Oh, he said I was with, like, the, with the list. I was like, who's yeah. Nick Nimit. I was like, who's Nick Nimit? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, he said Nimit? with an S too. He said Nimit, and I was like, Nimit. Nimit. Oh, oh my. God. I was like, who's Nick Nimit? I was like, me Nimit. Oh man, I, I try not to talk about people's social, I mean, vocal disabilities, but it's like, bro, you making it kind of easy. Well, Mike Tyson got a better speech impediment than that, and you know, we all know you got a list. Moose Cody even has a better one than this guy. And we know, and, and, no, Cody has a noticeable list. Mm-hmm. Like you, you, like you can't hide that. You know, it's like it's I like, have. To finish the story. Uh, sword. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 he's one octave like away from being sounding like Daffy Duck on his promos. <laughs> Man, the, 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 the son of a beat, beat, son of a beat, beat, son of a beat, beat. <laughs> you thought I said son of a bitch thing? <laughs> You're despicable. You're this. But but, but then again, he he inherited it from Dusty, so it's like, yo, like, what could you do? See, yeah, he has a reason. He has an excuse. He has. Mm. He got this. I got this from my daddy. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. can't, can't. You sir. Mm -mm. (laughs) No, no. You have no excuse, sir. See, they gotta be paying you because you're the champion now. So you, you know, get that taken care of, brother. <laughs> Every time Moose be talking, I just be hitting that. It, Cat Williams is a reference for everything because I literally be just like, <laughs> "Nigga, did you know that I can see you? Nigga, you right there." It's a- <laughs> <laughs> like you just be staring and just like, "Bro, why are you?" Po- Get this nigga a mouthpiece, please. <laughs> he, he the only wrestler that I know currently that's not Japanese or or, or Mexican that needs subtitles to speak in America. <laughs> Remember when he cut that promo about uh, WWE about the queens and the tribal yeah, keys and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah. And it's like, bro, the everybody was hyping this up. I was like, bro, y'all hyping this up, and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the sound like the slow dude that tried to read in class. <laughs> 
That kind of remind oh, me when that kind of oh man that kind of remind me when I uh that kind of remind could, me when could, I said could you read the pack please <laughs> no that that kind of remind me when I put out that tweet the other day where I was like bro why y'all out here letting these people who 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 read the book with their fingers get you out of character like bro stay in character like I'm like yo they they read like this stop <laughs> you just you just brought that memory back up but man come on. <laughs> And they said, tell him to grow his beard back. Oh, he did shave his beard. So now he looked really like a, like a walking ma- ma- mashed potato. Oh, yeah. Ashy and ashy as hell. Yeah. Like, Vaseline and lotion, it's available. Get, get some Papa Tui, do something. <laughs> <Your skin. laughs> like, like, I never met a black, I never met a nigga that his skin needs hydration as much as this nigga does, bro. <laughs> Oh no, man! Yeah, man, Tristan said he looked like a chocolate race. <laughs> if Mr. Potato Head was a person and black, <laughs> <laughs> blacker, because he was he was light skin. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. Good lord! Oh god! <laughs> oh my lord! Hey man! Uh, wow, nah, man, that was hilarious. Oh, no, we, got, we got we got one more match that was announced. We got sidetracked like a mother. Uh, oh, two more. We got FTR versus the Infamy. Infer- 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 Infantry. Yeah, Infantry. Infantry mm-hmm. in the tournament <sighs> on Collision. Will I watch? Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Um, will it be cool? Probably. Uh, then the last one announced for Dynamite. Uh, a Fatal Four Way. Well, the winner gets a TBS title shot at AEW Dynasty with Mercedes Monday on commentary. Willow Nightingale, Anna J, Sky Blues, Chris Statlander. And I'm trying to figure out where the hell Anna J come from. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> where does she come from? <laughs> wait. See, this is what Janelle's talking about. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Shouldn't you be in? This is why she's saying GM vibes. Why ain't you in the match, Mercedes? Alone. What? Maybe it's a slow build. I don't know. All right. All right. But my thing is, this is one of two things I can see happening. Willow wins, wins the title from Julia, and she's a transitional champion to Mercedes. Or Willow wins, Julia wins with the help of Mercedes, and that sets up her and, and Willow. I would go with that one. That one? Yeah. But that would be too smart for Tony. But I'll still <laughs> go with that one. <laughs> well, you know, Chris Stat is kind of in this match too, though. So, you know, there's that possibility as well. And she's on this losing streak. So that's the thing. It's two people in here who are on – three people in here are on losing streaks. Well, no two. Sky won the, the – help the one with Julia that, that street mm-hmm. fight last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Willow lost. Chris lost. Anna is just there because he needed an extra body, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. But yep, Dynamite is going to be interesting. I'm going to watch, obviously, because I watch wrestling. Uh, it, it, I have favorites on there. Uh, Dynamite, it is what it is. Uh, but before we get up out of here, we, this is the part where we uh, pick our song of the week to set the tone with our vibe and all that good stuff. So, uh, Highlight, you got your you got your song of the week for this week? Yes, I do. If my phone is near me, which it is not, but let me see if I can remember that gen off top. You know what? I ain't even really listened to this, but I'm gonna just throw it in there anyway because of the fact that it's the talk of the rap town right now. Uh, and I'm just gonna sit there and I'm yes. just gonna put in what you call it with future and Kendrick, goddamn. Yes. Just yes. because of Kendrick. Yes. Kendrick that started a rap war and I'm and I'm yes. all here for it. So yes. Yes, yes. yes. Which one is it? Yes. Uh, 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 laugh. Yeah, what we call right that? Now. It was a laugh right now. Like that. Like, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Like that. Put that John in there. That wasn't even. It. I ain't even listen to it like that. I just because of the talk of the town. I'm like, I just yeah, yeah. That's it. Whatever nah, I'm talking the, about. The, the, the beat was crazy. But you got you got to play Kendrick verse though. If you're gonna play that, play Kendrick verse. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> in the snippet, find Kendrick's verse and play that. That's what you do. <laughs> Point play. Nothing else matters but that. <laughs> What about you, Ray? I, I was I was gonna say the same. I was gonna say the same song because it's like, yo, like listening to that verse, like you knew who he was going at, and like the beat, like 
was so okay. disrespectful, bro. I was just like, yo. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you want, okay, since you got the same one, I'll tell you what. I'll take first person shooter. You take that one. No, nah, y'all both can have the same one. It's cool. It's cool. Y'all both can have the same one. Why yeah, is y'all that? Can... Y'all can have the well, same no, one. No, no, no. I'm saying that for the storytelling purposes, brother. Oh, okay. For okay. storytelling purposes. That's, that's, that's uh-huh. what I'm You know, this, this set up that. You know what I'm saying? That the first person shooter is what set that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to right, tell so... the story here. You tell the story. You <laughs> so know? you got first person shooter. I got first person shooter. Oh, you gonna get my boy, you know what I'm saying? Get my boy like that. So that way it just, okay. it, just it, it, it coincides. I know you gotta Cole, play Drake. I, you gotta play uh J. Cole's verse. Don't play Drake's. I don't, I don't want Drake's on mine. Because you know he ain't gonna reply. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't care about you, you got to play Jermaine Cole's verse. That is it. I don't care. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to our boy DJ because he's the J. Cole fan. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. We already know Aubrey on autopilot, so we can yeah, yeah, at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna completely switch up the, the 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 genre because I'm a I literally be in my own head most of the time. But I'm going going old school with this one. Well, it's not really old school. It's by Steve Chris Stapleton, uh, Tennessee Whiskey. So Ooh, that's that's my that's my okay. song of the week. This one. So okay. if 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 it was if it wasn't um I ain't go front if it wasn't the um. Like that by Kendrick and um and Future. Mm-hmm. I, I like to listen to like soundtracks a little bit. So like the Yasuke soundtrack, the original um from from, from Thundercat, Black mm. Gold. Like, ah yeah. yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> I put out a tweet the other day where I was like, I still um I still clean my house to the Prince of Egypt soundtrack. Man. <laughs> I had, I throw that joke on. I'll be like, yeah, let me put that thing on, man. I, I ain't gonna hold you. You li- listen to the Yasuke album high. You think you're like in feudal Japan, your whole body goes to a crazy. I, that's the only way I listen to it though. <laughs> like <laughs> man. it'd be the best way to listen to it, son. It's like, yo, it's a uh, good vibe. Yes, sir. Uh but yeah, speaking of good five, this was a good vibe. Uh, where can they find you on social media, my brother, for joining us? Um, y'all can find um y'all can find the brand on backstage underscore brawl on Twitter. Um, you can find uh, our Facebook at the backstage brawl, Instagram at the backstage brawl, as well as our YouTube channel. You can find me personally at underscore his name is King on Instagram. Um, I'm on Twitter also as his underscore name is king on twitter i have a couple underscores i forgot where it is but i'm there just put raymond reddington and i'm pretty much there um uh other than that man that's pretty much where you can find me and of course the brand um you can see me post sarcastic shit half the time or mm-hmm. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm 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 a lifelong nick suffering nick fan um Uh-oh. Yeah, so yeah. It's not that bad this year, brother. It's no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's been a good year this, so far this year. So you know, I got I got some good vibes. I'm not jumping off the bridge yet, saying championship, so, but I, I just I, gotta I, keep I, you for my boy DJ. You know, our our bro DJ is big Celtic. You know what I'm saying? So he he'd be trying to, you know, you know troll yeah, right now if he was here. Yeah, you know, well, well, we all know leopard cons can choke anyway. So you know. Sorry, brother. Sweet, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he gonna he, 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 he gonna he gonna listen to it. He gonna hear it. <laughs> he no. he listens to the show, so you you know he gonna say something. He he gonna have something to say. He gonna be like, man, fuck. he gonna like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, DJ, he gonna be petty. He gonna find something petty about to say. The, the irony is, um, here at, at the Sports Hitlers, where we basically do our show from every every week, um, our creator who created the Sports Hitlers and whatnot. He's a Celtic fan, so we we normally go at it all the time in terms of like, well, well, my team won a championship, you know, in 2008. I'm like, y'all still squeezing that one championship? We're not even talking about the 70s. Y'all still squeezing that one chip? Listen, y'all I heard can have that. I heard a YouTuber talk about that, and it was like, yep, and they will rub it in your face with that one title. With that, 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 that one title. Like, you don't hear you don't hear the two, 2004 Pistons squeeze out their title and talk about it all the time. You hear Paul Pierce like, yeah, I mean, I'm a champion. I'm a champion. So the only reason why you're able to have them hoes on, on Instagram Live is because, <laughs> you know, Kobe ain't have his team that year. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you were lucky KG decided to leave Minnesota to come and save your ass. So you, 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 you can hold that one measly ring and enjoy that. Cause after that, it was curtains when LeBron got it together. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Highlight? What can they hit you up? As always, 
Hey, man, you already know what it is, man. As always, it's been a vibe. Appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. Um, follow your boy at High Light Life, H I L I T E Life. If you like good music, your boys are rapper, all that good stuff. So, uh, new song dropping on this upcoming Friday. So, uh, get just in time for the Easter weekends, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. So, y'all make sure y'all peep that. Um, yeah, man, follow Life's a Botch underscore OTS, man. Um, that's my first, you know, my wrestling pod you know what i'm saying you can go show love to me and my co-hostess as benny shout out to you sis um and of course the brand behind that which is the network known as ots media co all things sports fashion music media and all that good stuff man that is definitely the place you want to follow on all platforms man appreciate y'all yes, yes sir and uh just to wrap it up for you guys uh we are on the road to philly so we might as well go ahead and let you guys in on what's going to go down basically this coming this upcoming week uh so next week's episode of the gresham Leaks podcast will be tape delay so basically we will be recording it a day uh, or probably the weekend this upcoming weekend uh and it will be a retro review and it's ironic because the, the meaning behind us with this retro review was I was like, yo, since it's the go home before Mania, let's just pick a random Raw, SmackDown, whatever, go home. And my man right here said the, the Mania before, the, the Raw before Mania 19. So not 19. Tw- was it was 19? Yeah, 19. Yeah, 19. Yeah, 19. 19 in 2003. And it's ironic because we are here talking about the final boss, The Rock. And that particular Raw was headlined by a rock concert. <laughs> so next week's episode of the Gresham Lee's Podcast will be a retro review for the for Monday Night Raw from... What the, let me pull it up. Maybe make sure. Uh, March 24, 2003 is on Peacock or wherever you listen, get your, your retro reviews. If you want to watch it so you can... Uh, join with us while we watch it it will be on a tape delay which means it will not be live it will be no interactions with the with the chat it will basically be tape delay it might it might not even be a stream it might just be an upload and it will be it we will make sure the content is you the reason why that is the case is because we are going to be on a mini break that basically we're going to be on a break next week and the week after mania mm-hmm. so you won't get a new episode of the Gresham Lee's podcast live live until the week after. And the reason why we do that is because whenever we travel to these shows, we want to make sure we don't overwork ourselves. We don't want to make sure that we're burnt out. We just want to make sure it's all it's still having a good time. And you already know, in my case, I'm always going to burn my... I'm, I'm always on the verge of burning myself out because I, I do a lot. I do a lot of content. I do a lot of traveling. I do a lot of work. I literally have shows lining up all the way into October where I have mm. to travel. So it's like... I do it is that's why I, st- I put a lot of stuff in the hands of editors. If I if certain content don't come at a certain rate, I will like I can hit up the editor and be like, "Yo, when is it available?" He be like, "Yeah, I got it. And here you go." Then I'll be like, "Here you go. Here's a new episode." And I will try to incorporate live streams going forward. But as far as next week, we will be tape delay. And before we get up out of here, I went shopping, so I had to throw this up there so you guys can actually see this. Warning, no stupid people beyond this point, which means that is the life going forward. That is the motive going forward from this day forth. No stupid people beyond this point. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for rocking with us for over three hours of this of this podcast. It was a fun time and, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed us talking our usual ish. And with that being said, hopefully you guys, honestly, hopefully you guys enjoy Mania Week. Uh, we'll definitely do a preview uh, f- during our retro review of WrestleMania. Once the, whatever card is finalized, we'll do a preview. Maybe stand and deliver as well uh, because we know that retro review is not going to take up the entire episode. So we'll definitely handle all that next week. And wh- whatever is finalized, we'll talk about it. If it's not finalized or if it's the day of type thing, don't worry about it. It'll still be content for you. But with that being said, you got to stay safe out here in these streets. Remember to be true to yourself. And if it's not really for you or if it's, if it's not really for your peace, Protect it at all costs. And if you got, if you are dealing with imposter syndrome, I'm gonna need you to take a step back and really, really re- self-evaluate yourself. I'm not saying this from a place of being better than anybody. I'm saying this from somebody who's constantly grieving and going through his own personal battles, but still chooses to laugh and love and, and live 
in spite of it. But with that being said, you guys stay safe out here in these streets and remember to always eat, sleep, flex, and repeat. We out. Y'all be breezy. <laughs>